Hi guys. Hi guys. I'm Manny. And I'm Dan. And you're watching another Warhammer 40k 2000 point battle report. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell just below down there so you know each time we release one of these videos and all the short videos that come out in the week. There's so much content coming out, guys. Hit it button now. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want more content like this and you want list breakdowns, meta analysis, Head over to glasshammergaming.co.uk and join the Elite because you get a lot more content yeah. and a lot more perks as an Elite member, including 30% off all our stuff. Yes, yes. the best discount you can get. Yes, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> right, enough about that. All about the exciting stuff that we got mm. for you today. The Space Wolf Army is here with some new additions because before it was pure combat. Yeah. And now we've got a few things in there that's going to help them along the board with some shooting support. Some big stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really cool what you've added. I really like yeah. it. It's a, it's a great army now. It's a very, very much an all-rounder. It's got loads of flexibility in it. I really like it. Dan's back with his uh, Eldar. Yeah, I've got the Eldar back out. So uh, a lot of people were, were were complaining about the list that I used with Eldar last time. Yep. Well, I was just using stuff that was ace. That was that was why. So yeah, I can understand that. So this is a bit more of a competitive Eldar list. I've got some really cool things in there. It's super killy and it's super quick and it plays the mission really well. So uh, let's see how it gets on. So here's my Eldar army for today. Um, I got uh, got a bit of stick last time for taking the avatar and take, yeah, for taking, taking all the fun thing. stuff. So I thought I'd make a you know a really cool. I think this is a competitive list. I think if you go into a tournament, this it's could cool. be really cool to go with. Um, so let me walk you through it. It is a um, battalion and an outrider. It's all the same craft world. It is my old craft world. It's craft world smeg. Uh, they are taking the traits of Children of Prophecy, which means when I cast powers, my ones counts as twos, and it is amazing. Yeah, that's really Helps reliable. every single game. So reliable. And then I take Hail of Doom, which it makes my shuriken weapons count as minus one AP standard, and it doesn't affect them when I roll sixes. Again, it's just it, like it, it increases the output capacity of the army tenfold. It's it's amazing. Yeah, having those two are really good, man. Because that having yeah. that minus one AP really helps. Like you've got so much shuriken in your army. Yeah, on the on the spears, it really helps them because they're like a one bomb unit, and it just makes sure they kill whatever they shoot at. And the guardians and, uh, and the dire avengers, the, avengers, avengers, got it. the guardian bomb blob coming down. It's it's amazing. So yeah, a, a really cool, definitely a cool combo. I recommend you take that. And like um, you don't think so with the children of prophecy, but it comes in that comes in helpful when you're casting like six, seven powers of phase. That comes in. Uh, I, it counts. Every psychophage. phase. Oh, There's yes. always at least one or two powers yeah. in every psychophage. phase. You're like, oh, that's gone off because my one's cast two. Yeah. Oh, that's gone off because my one's cast two. Especially time. because all I do is roll ones as well. It's <laughs> so, like if you can't roll dice like me, take Children of Prophecy. It's, it's so, so reliable. It feels good actually casting powers like normal people. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, okay then. Uh, then it's a battalion. Uh, yeah, it's a battalion and an outrider. So uh, I've got four HQs in the army. I have a Farseer on foot. And a spirit seer on foot. So um, the reason why you take those on foot is these two guys here are very much like these little buffing powers. They stay in the bubble. They've got quite a big range. They don't need to be on bikes. So if you want to, if you want to save some points somewhere, it's a great way to do it. If you've got the points to upgrade the spirit seer, which is ten points, it gi gives him an extra uh, an extra couple of wounds, so he can't die when he perils, which is nice. Um, then uh, on the bike, I've got a warlock on a bike and a farseer on bike. So the warlock on the bike has jinx. Um, I took Jinx on him. Um, sorry, he has Quick and Restrain on the bike. because I took it on him because um, it, you need a Warlock to link up with a Farseer. And Quick and is like the most important power. Yeah. So uh, the, that extra plus one to cast and the one to cast twos and everything else um, is amazing. Because you can get Quick and to the point where you cannot fail it. Yeah. You can roll a double one. And then you want to cast two, so that's four, and then you've got plus three to cast, and it goes up by seven. So I think that's, that's in those really crucial turns, it can be amazing to have that option. Really, really good. Um, right then. Oh, and powers. Sorry. So the powers then are, I've got Guide and Fortune on the Farseer on the foot. So he sits there, he's got 20 points range, and he's just buffing stuff out. He switches his Smite out for plus two to cast, and he can just then cast the extra power for a turn, nice. and that's how you get plus three to cast on a Warlock. Uh, the Spirit Seer has Jinx Protect because, again, he sits in a bubble and he's he's protecting more than he's jinxing. Um, I would prefer Protect Jinx on the Warlock because it can move out and be a bit more aggressive. It's a lot faster. Uh, but like I said, I need that. I need the Warlock to link, which is yeah. why he's got Quicken. Uh, and then the Farseer, the Doom Seer down there, he's great. Take him in every game. He's so cool. He's amazing. Uh, take You put Doom on him and Executioner 
and then you keep the smite with him. And then in those turns where you need to, he goes out, he dooms something for the rest of the army, then he smites it and does D3 more wounds. Then you execution it. And if you kill a model, he does another D3. So he's actually yeah. doing three D and quite reliably, you can normally kind of yeah, tailor can... it to get those three D3 more wounds. You could only hit him in a spot where he can, you know, I'll, I'll do my smite first, then if it if something's got four wounds, mm -hmm. and then the executioner should kill it and give me another D3. Yeah. Or if it's got one wound each, it just doesn't matter, just yeah. hit everything in. You'd be so surprised at how much damage he can actually do. It's uh, I, I I would I honestly I would not leave home without him. He's great. He's really good. Uh, okay, so then uh, my troops. I've got the guardian bomb. Everyone knows the guardian bomb. It's great, especially with that hail of doom. Um, it's forty shots. You can guide them. You can doom something, and you can just you can drag tanks down with it. It's great. Um, they're really cool, and they're obsec. It's a massive obsec <coughs> unit that's deep striking down. Can definitely come in useful for. He's uh, for blocking, you know, like move blocking or grabbing objectives or whatever it may be. Uh, two units of Dire Avengers. They're, they're wicked for doing secondaries um, and then um, move blocking and stuff as well. They're quick because you can spend the one CP to order about six. Yes. So yes. They, they, they can move just 13 inches. And yeah, so I, I love the two with lots of five Dire Avengers. They're, uh, they're great for the secondaries. Now, some of my favourite units in the army now. This is the that's that's the that's the stuff around. <laughs> that's the exciting stuff. I've got two units of five warp spiders. Now, guys, again, some people were like, "Oh, I why know. is he doing warp spiders?" I know. Have you read warp spiders? <laughs> they're insane. They're so good. They've yeah. Um, yeah they've got, I mean, they've got a three up save. They move like four d six plus seven. That's the thing. It's the fact they move four d six plus seven can always reliably do engage on all fronts for you for like two or three turns and always get you scramblers pretty much every yeah. game. Because because the four d six is not an advance. Yeah. So you can move like twenty something inches and then do an action. It's fantastic. And they are yeah. infantry. So they go through walls and they've got the fly keyword. They can they can fall back and shoot. Th their shooting's not that bad. It's like strength six and it's yeah. minus four uh, when you roll a six. They're a great unit. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, I they're think fantastic. they're so they're so good just because they're so quick. In my opinion, I think yeah. you know they can they averagely move 21, 22 inches mm -hmm. yeah. and still do an action. Yeah, I, I think they're really good. in these new really, really good. in these new missions, guys. If you're not taking spiders, you're doing something wrong. I think. Yeah, just two little units of five, yeah. and they'll just do everything for yeah. you. Um, I've got two units of five spears. Now they've gone up in points again. Nasty. Uh, recently Nasty. in the um, in the FAQ pointed stuff up and they're still worth it, which shows how much of a bargain they were before. Yeah. They're they're a great little suicide unit. I'm doing the, the little trick where you switch the Exarch power out to give him plus one inbun. So he has a three up in bun and then you can put protect on him to give him a two up in bun. It's only against shooting, but it's amazing if you need if you need something to go out and survive somewhere amazing. against shooting, they're a great unit. And they're uber killy. So if you need something dead they can move 32 inches, shoot it, and charge it. Um, so, again, I wouldn't leave home without them. They're great. Um, unit of Dark Reapers. I don't think I've ever seen an Eldar army without a unit of Dark Reapers. Dark Reapers so, are really good. They're yeah. just... They're, it's but the fact again, that they don't have any modifiers. They keep going up so in points, and they're still... <laughs> I, oh, remember when they were like 27 points each? Yeah, man. Oh, those, oh, those were the so days. Cheap. Those were the days. Um, okay. And then we've got... Uh, so... Interestingly, so I've, I've taken the spears. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you see in a lot of Eldar armies. Now I've taken a wraith lord. I don't think wraith lords get enough um, credit. They are he's 140 points or something like that, and he's got two bright lances. Yeah, for his points, he's great. Yeah, for his points, he fires two bright lance shots, and he's a toughness eight, really like sturdy unit in the middle of the board that is strength seven, flat three damage when he's in combat. Mm -hmm. I think he's really cool. I wouldn't take him on mass, but um, I think one can really help you in the middle of the board against a lot of armies. It can it gives eld you know that they are little elves. It's that one tough, reliable unit. You can go and stand on an objective, and you can say, "Yeah, you probably won't ship him." He's good. I really That's like because you 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 can use one to just skirt him around the edges. Yeah, skirt around the edges of the board, and you got to go well. You've got to come this way mm. to reliably deal with it. It's eight with 10 yeah. moons. So you've got to come this way to reliably deal with him. I, yeah. I really like that the aspect. The fire and stuff won't shift him. Yeah, you've yeah, got to exactly. dedicate something to him. Which something is, big. Which is nice. <laughs> it is nice, yeah. I, I think he's really cool. So I'm trying him out today. And um, I, I think he's going to do work. I think he's cool. 
And then something I've wanted to try for ages, absolutely ages, is the Wraith Bomb. The, the, uh, the Wraith, Wraith Blades, you put the axes on them and the shields. They've got the four of Invun. You can protect them to give them a two-up save and a three of Invun. They're very, very similar to spears, but they're just a lot slower. Um, and they, they're, But they're so tough. They're tough in the six, three wounds each. You can put Fortune on them. Um, Give them a three of invulnerable with protect. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, oh, and you can quicken them. They're infantry, so you you quickly so you think oh they're quite slow. And the reason why you didn't really see them before is uh, thunderfire cannons, right? Doing the tremor shells. Slowing them down. So that that really did rule them out of the game to be honest with you. But you don't see thunderfire cannons anymore. So I think that unit could be really cool. I'm I'm I've never used it before. I've got really high hopes for it. I'm really liking the way it plays and stuff. They're pretty damn cool, Matt. So, I love the axes. I think the axes look wicked. I love the curve in them and everything. Yeah. I think they, they, they look like they, they should be able to. They don't look. I, they look cool, but they don't look half as cool as the ones with swords. The double swords. <laughs> like, I wish Tournament Organised would just let me put double swords on them and say, yeah, yeah they've got axes. <laughs> yeah, they, they've got axes because the swords look badass. Just but, um, strap the axe to the back. But they want that. Yeah, 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 just strap Give them the double axe swords the and then put an axe on their back. I know what a lot of people do is they put the sword in the one hand and the axe in the other. Oh, so okay. they can say, oh, they're either or kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with the double sword, they look they look wicked. So, uh, well, yes, that is that is my Eldar army today, guys. I, I really like it. I think it's got loads of options. It can definitely compete with these new codexes, I think. Uh, played in the right way. Um this is going to be really tough to play against. Yeah. You've got a lot of maneuverability. You've got a lot of decent shooting. Mm -hmm. You've got some decent combat threats with the Wraith Blades, Double Shining Spears, and the Wraith Lord. Yeah, it's got a good got the punch. The little units that can come around the back of me. It, it's really, really good. It's got a good punch, and it plays the secondaries really well. I think uh, this one's going to be tough. <laughs> it's still going to kill it all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the awesome Space Wolf Army that's had quite a few new additions to it. Yeah. It, I think it looks clap. David's been working really, really hard on getting these units they look ready. Ace, don't they? Yeah, I love Space Horse, my second favorite faction after Orcs. Obviously, Orcs is the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're my second favorite faction, and I just love that he's he's gone to so much effort making them look so yeah. nice. Yeah. So thank you very much, David. And uh, I'm just going to run you through it quickly. It all fits in one outrider detachment, nice. which is absolutely awesome. Um, I have got one Storm Raven. Because look at it. <laughs> yeah, just because it looks awesome. cool. Just yeah. looks cool. It, 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 the only reason it's in the army it is because it looks cool. cool. And you can hang Murderfang from, from the other side. That's why. That's the only reason That's you why. Take it. <laughs> I'm like so funny to just whip Murderfang in there at one point and just rise up the board. So I really like it. It's got so many guns on it. Mm -hmm. I've kept the twin assault cannon. I've put the two hurricane bolters on it. So that's 36 shots if I want them. And then um, it's got two storm strikes. And what I did is. Um, I paid to have the two typhoons on it. I think you've got to pay for it, or it might be free, but I went with the typhoon missile launchers on it because it's the one that can be the most flexible. It can also yeah. fire the two high damage shots if you need to, or it can split for 2d6 short, the small shots if you need to go into complete yeah. hordes. Yeah. So I love that. I think it's a great unit, and it's such a big threat that people can't ignore it. People can't ignore no. it. So that's why it's there. So no. I've got the and one storm moment. With, the, with, the, with like the minus one to hit when it's flying. Tough, toughness seven, minus one to hit. It is, it is good. And so the one thing that Space Wolves struggle with is people can block you. People sit like six inches in front of you so you can't really like, hurry intervene them and they, they block you in. But this thing just goes straight over and makes a mess out of what they've kept behind. Yeah. So that's why I like it. That's what the Storm Raven's in there for. And then I also have one Gladiator. <laughs> you have to do that every time. Every Gladiator. Time <laughs> Reaper. <laughs> So, and that is absolutely awesome as well. I'll pay for the Icarus Rocket Pod on it, the Iron Hail Heavy Stubber on it. It's got the two Tempest Bolters, mm -hmm. which are eight shots each in rapid fire. And then it's got the twin heavy Onslaught Gatling Cannon. Yeah. What a name. So many shots. shots. So many shots. I thought that was a twin assault cannon. <laughs> and then it just turned out to be twice as good. In yeah. every way. That, that thing gets into rapid fire. So bear in mind, it's got a 10-inch move, and then it's 15-inch rapid fire. So that if that gets into rapid fire, it's got 24 shots off the Gatlin, 16 shots off the Bolters. So that's, what, 40 shots? Mm -hmm. Four off the Heavy Stubber, 44, and D3 on the Missile. So minimum 45 shots in yeah. rapid fire. How good is that? How good it's is a that? proper little gumbo. It's yeah. wicked. That really is there to help me clear screens yeah. and is my backfield objective holder because it's toughness eight. Yeah. It's so tough. Yeah. And I've not, so, so, so tough. I've not seen one of them. 
No, I've seen all of them before, so um, it'd be it'd be nice to see how well it does. Definitely. And then um, I've also got my HQs. Then I've got my Wolf Lord, and he is the Wolf Lord. Look at him. He's a really cool model yeah. as well. David found a really cool shield and a helmet off at another company, and we put them on there, and he, he just looks absolutely yeah. awesome. Um, he is the warlord, so he's got rights of war, which you always take into Space Wolf Army. It's the standard one from the Marine book. Mm -hmm. Gives all core units within six of set. Nice. Absolutely awesome. Um, especially to play the missions now, when you're such an elite force, you need them all to be obsec. Mm -hmm. And to North Cavalry on a core. <laughs> it's bonkers. And then I've paid for him to have a second warlord trait, and um, that is resolved with Vet, because I want him to live. So when you try to wound him, you cannot re-roll the wound roll, you cannot re-roll the damage roll, and he has a 6 of gun on pain. And then what's funny is his his deed, his epic deed, is to lose a wound. <laughs> Once he loses a wound, he's completed his deed, and all core units yeah. within 6 inches of him get a 6 of gun on pain. Yeah. It's like they all hate him. As soon as he, get, as soon as he gets hurt, they're like, yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then of course he's got the armor of rust because why would you not take the armor of rust that's the relic on him mm -hmm. um, and then my fast attacks which are the main slots in the army I've got one unit of four Thunderwolf cavalry and two units of three Thunderwolf cavalry managed to get one extra in there instead of having three units of three because uh, I had 60 points spare so I was like why not put him in so I've got three units of Thunderwolf cavalry and every single one has got a storm shield and a power fist because mm -hmm. they're just really really good and they get plus one to hit so it mitigates a minus one hit to hit off the power fist I then have three individual units of one cyber pup. <laughs> cyber pups. Yes. They're always so cool. a thorn in my side. They're they will, so, so they cool. will do something that will annoy me. Yeah. I can guarantee you. <laughs> and then um, I've got Bjorn in there as well. Oh, what a unit. Yeah, Bjorn is so Bjorn, cool. Man. His multi melter is just incredible because he can shoot you and you can't shoot him back. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. And it hits on twos. When he gets into combat, he's so tough. When you finally get to hit him, he's so tough. He hits like a brick house, mm -hmm. and then also he gives core units you almost hit around him because why not? Like yeah, it, the thing is in that plot he's supposed to, like they all they all go proper fanboy over him don't they? Well, as soon yeah. as they see him and he's supposed to be amazing and stuff, yeah. and he is actually amazing now. So I, I think GW done a really good job with him. Yeah. He, he like plays like he is in the plot. Now. Really really good job with him, um, and then I'm only allowed two elites because it's an outright attachment. So I have Murder Fang. Murder Fang is incredible. He has eight attacks on the charge for a Dreadnought. Yeah. He can re-roll his charges, and then also because he's a he's Wolfen, and then on is top of that, good? yeah, and then he re-rolls all of his wounds because it's a claw at the end of the day. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a strength twelve claw. <laughs> yeah. He hits on twos and he moves eight inches. He's incredible. Yeah, you he's you just like nine attacks, eight attacks, yeah. Eight attacks. Eight attacks on the charge. Because oh. he has five, and then instead of plus one, he gets plus three for charging. Yeah. Eight attacks. And then you, you get exploding sixes. So, like, one, when two, the three. damage is like that, and then you come up with not eight, nine attacks, that's, that's bonkers, isn't it? Reroll into wound, minus three, flat three. Yeah. Really, God, really God, that's a lot of damage. And he's 150. 150 points. 150, 150 points. He's 30 cheaper than Bjorn. He still does a minus one damage, though, really. Yeah, he does minus one damage. I think it's because what? Bjorn has a multi-melter. So it's probably like 15 points difference. Yeah. And then Bjorn is toughness 8. Oh, and he's toughness 7? Yeah. yeah. God, that's, oh, and that's Bjorn a has steal, a 5 of Colonel Payne. That is a steal. Yeah, he's incredible. 150 for points to be, because, to be able to protect him, to get in there as he's well. He's still a character. Yeah. Wow. Yep. And my other elite slot. I've not seen you take him before, to be honest. I know, yeah. He's he's, he was on David's desk when getting ready. <laughs> he did Bjorn and then went on to other stuff. And the final unit in my army is a unit of 10 wolf guard mm -hmm. which always combat squad into two units of five yeah. because they're just such good little five man units to go and hold all the objectives with yeah. so always do that and uh, they've got three power fists in there just because i don't have enough claws yet and then <laughs> seven lightning claws because them with storm shields and lightning claws are one of the best units in the game right yeah, now. that's one of the best loadouts isn't it at the moment for, for, for vanguard vets that kind of thing we have 25 the... models 25 models and three cyber pups. This is as elite <laughs> as it goes. This is Bjorn's finest. These are Bjorn's finest, and we are going to be the Eldar. We're just going to do it. Just, just kill everyone. Just pull Eldar. Just make 10 charges, bro. Poor Farmer Guardians. <laughs> so, seconds are nice and easy for me this game, guys. Uh, the list is pretty much written with these secondaries in mind. And then the mission specific one is a great one. So um, they, were, they were really easy for me to choose. Uh, so I've taken priority target, the mission specific one. 
you pick an objective, which is the one in your deployment zone, and then you get three points if you hold it at the end of your turn. Very, very easy to do. I imagine they'll probably change it at some point because it's that easy. Um, the next one I took was Engage on All Fronts. It is like the Eldar um, secondary to take. The units that I've taken, like with the Deep Striking Guardians and the Warp Spiders, the Spears as well, they, they work really well. Um, I, you should be getting like 12 points on Engage on All Fronts, like possibly more. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great secondary for Eldar with the maneuverability that they've got. Uh, the last one I'm taking is Scramblers, and that is ex that is just what the um, Warp Spiders are in the list for. They are the perfect Scrambler unit, uh, and they'll they'll get it off within the first couple of turns. Uh, they can deep strike if they need to. They can move twenty something inches and do the action. Um, so it's it's almost guaranteed. Like that's how good the spiders are at doing it. So yeah, not nice and easy for me to choose my secondaries there, and I think I'm going to score quite highly with these today. Secondaries for me today, guys. Very, very easy for the first two, and then I struggled. So number one, priority target, of course. It's the one with the mission. Pretty confident I'm going to get 15 on that. I don't think Dan's going to be able to take me off my own one, even for primaries in any turn, just because I've got that heroic intervention on every single unit in my army that everybody could destroy it lean to be in three inches. And I could do it six inches for one squad for one CP as well. So I, I don't think he's going to be able to shift me off my own one. I think I'll definitely get 15 points for that secondary. Then I've taken Domination because I always aim to get 15 for that as well with a, with a Space Wolf unit on a five objective mission because you should be pushing towards the middle of the board and then leaving a few things on the flanks and at the back is, is pretty nice. Like my Gladiator, I know my Gladiator will be able to hold my own objective for a long time. So he'll be doing priority targets for me and contributing an objective towards Domination. My whole clump will probably go towards the objective in the middle of the board. And then I've got three cyborgs, guys. I can shoot them out one turn at a time onto an object onto a third objective anywhere without sacrificing anything just a cyborg and that'll give me three turns of domination as is and then later on i've got characters to do it with i've got thunderwolf cavalry i've got wolf guard to do it with so i'm pretty confident i can i could try and get about 15 on that as well so i'm good in this mission because those two i'm going to try and get as close to 15 as possible but then i struggle after that it becomes very hard because Dan doesn't have very many things I can kill to get it with. Like, he doesn't really have any vehicles. His psychers are ones that just buff and stay back, so I can't really do a border witch. And uh, that means it puts me in a tough spot. So, it brought me down to two secondaries. Grind them down. But if I take that, Dan can really see what he needs to kill if he goes second. And it can he it could be totally in Dan's control if he gets the second turn, whether I score that every turn or not. So I thought, you know, take it out of his hands and just take the second one. So I took Raise the Banners. I know there's only two units of my army that can do it, but they're Wolf Guard and they're pretty tough. And I'm hoping to raise my own banner on my deployment zone. And then one in the middle of the board and hoping to just hold those two for the whole game. And that should get me like seven to nine points. And if I can get seven points on Raise the Banners, I will be really, really happy.
just finished the deploying, guys. And um, the mission we're playing was priority target, so obviously we had to move the objectives. So I won the roll off. So of I course. Chose... <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. So I chose the side where I could run into that center ruin because we, we placed the ruin one way. And it was like, if you're the defender, you're obviously going to choose the side where you can run into the ruin. Yeah. It can still be held on the other side and you can be hidden. But you just have these, you know, these extra little walls that can hide you if you have the side with the ruins on. So I chose to pick this side. And that meant Dan could move the first objective. Now, he... Very wisely, because in the last game, <laughs> in yeah. the last game, he chose to move this objective that's far away from his deployment zone. Yeah. But then I pulled his home one right out into the middle, and I was playing a combat army, mm -hmm. which I'm doing now as well. So Dan's moved his deployment one backwards, didn't you, Dan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I, in the last game, I didn't think it'd be that big a deal. I thought it'd be nice to have, rather than just have the one right back here, because I know as soon as I move this one, Manny goes for for these. Yeah. But um, so I thought oh, it'd be nice to have two close to me rather than one right back. Yeah. But uh, with Eldar, they want that one right in the corner. Yeah. They want they want to sit it's so there reliable for the and reap, stay on it. it. Yeah. yeah. To like move out, shoot, move back in, yeah. and just hold it every turn. It was more difficult than I thought to hold on to two half decent half ones decent rather ones. than one really good really one. Easy. So <laughs> yeah. lesson learned. Yeah, and then I moved this one over here because mm -hmm. it was inside this ruin, mm -hmm. but it was um it was within two of the wall. So I've moved it here four inches away. So you can't hold it inside the ruin now. Because I know that's the other one that Dan will be playing for. Like really, well, he would have been playing for really easily if it was a bit close to the wall. So I've just moved that out so that I can deny Dan's primaries. Because anything that comes there, my gladiator. Can you see it? Oh dear. <laughs> you have to say it like that as well. <laughs> The gladiator. <laughs> oh dear. I love that, man. The gladiator reaper. That's, that's a new addition to the space yeah, of farming, guys. guys. Look how cool he looks. Yeah. Dave's done an amazing job on him. Yeah, he looks for that. Ah. And the, the other, the other oh, new yeah. addition and then, is in reserve. Look at the wings. Look at the walls on the wings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, David's done a really does, good job on him. looks really him. good, doesn't he? Yeah, he just went in reserve because I was like, the reapers are going to the reapers are gonna nuke it. So I can't I can't afford for yeah. that to happen. Yeah. And uh, like like this... Where Dan's deployed as well, my my Storm Raven has to stop like an inch away from his models and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, so I can't get to the Reapers, yep. so they'll always get the drop on me, yes. unless I go in reserve. I probably still won't get the drop on the Reapers because they'll keep shooting and moving back behind that wall, but I'll be able Maybe. to do something. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to shoot something before I die. Oh, well, I will be able to shoot something before oh, I yeah. die. Even if it's five Dire Avengers, <laughs> I will the, shoot something before I die. I can do about that. So I moved that one, and then I had the choice of whether I wanted to move that one or this one. Mm -hmm. Now, this one over here, I could have pulled that because it was here. I could have pulled it six inches this way, where I can just about hold it inside my ruin. But then Dan would have moved my one back here somewhere, and then I would have been spread in a line between here, here, and there, and have to leave something at the back as well. Yeah. When I'm a pretty elite force, I don't really want to have to do that. Whereas what I thought was, if I move my one, the one in my deployment zone, forwards to here, I can hold these two ridiculously comfortably now from, from behind these two terrain pieces. Yeah. I'm going to have to play for that one to get domination and stuff. Yeah. But I do have two cyber wolves that I put on this flank because I can just run for that one. And the idea was, if I left this one for Dan to move, I can move my side wolves to the back and then they're just not doing anything. They yeah. gave me points, but they're not doing anything all game. But this way, Dan's moved that one that way. So he has to come and try and get that one. Mm. Otherwise, he's only going to get five primary points yeah. a turn. He can't afford for that to happen. And I can just chuck one side wolf on it every turn. And yeah. when they're advancing forward with the rest of my army, I thought, that's extra shots then. Dan's got to put something into them. Mm -hmm. If he wants to, if oh, he wants yeah, to get yeah. the points, Definitely. he's got to put something into them. And I just thought forcing him to have to shoot a different target is probably better for me than just having them out the back out of the game. So. Not a problem. I will murder those pups yes. all day long. I thought so. Fine by me, mate. I thought so. We'll see. Uh, right then. So, are you feeling as though you want to go first? Oh, oh sorry. Well, I'll talk through my deployment, shall <laughs> yeah. I? You've done yours. Right. So, basically, I was just piling stuff in here that everyone knows what's going to go in here, like the Reapers in there. And then I learned how good the Gladiator was at shooting. Because it's not a twin assault cannon oh, that's yes. got on top of it. It's a twin heavy onslaught, uh, onslaught Gatling, Gatling, Gatling cannon <laughs> with 24 shots. So then the uh, so then the, the Wraith Blades went in there as well. Um, and then uh, on, on my characters and stuff, my one unit of Shining Spears because they kind of go in in waves. So they don't need to be anywhere near the front lines. So they're chilling back there as well. I've got a unit of Dire Avengers in case I need to do any screening, anything like that. 
I've got a unit of spears there and a unit of Dire Avengers there. So we can move out and do whatever we want there. This was quite cool here. I saw where the tank could go and things like that. And then, um, so I've, uh, I've put the spiders there that are totally out of line of sight of anything uh, because they can go off and score me points and secondaries. And then I just thought I'd put the Wraith Lord there because he's got some nice firing arcs around here and there's a nice open objective. Yeah. So he could go and be a pain in the ass on that objective. Oh, I just frontlined everything. So, yeah, and then Space Wolf frontlined everything. <laughs> the Space Wolf. This is the wolf way. <laughs> and uh, obviously, I placed the characters there, guys, the three characters. But that's because the Wolf Lord's within three of these two Thunder, uh, these two Wolf Guard and the Thunder Wolf Cavalry. Yeah. So he can only get shot if Dan's, like, right here. Because I've got units in here and units here. Yeah. So he can't be closer by shooting me down this arc or this arc. He's got to actually come stand right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then Murder Fang and... Bjorn are within three of the Thunderwolf unit in there, so they can't get shot unless Dan comes right here, which oh. I'll be happy for him to mm. do, to be honest. Mm. To yeah, be honest come, and to lance, come and lance your, <laughs> your Wolf Lord in the face, eh? You tempting. would try. It's you tempting. Would, you would try. <laughs> you would try. <laughs> Harry ain't scared. <laughs> Harry ain't scared. Cool. Now, to be honest, I was thinking I would love to go second here mm -hmm. because of the way that these three have landed. Yeah. So uh, right at the end of the game, it'd be so easy for me to just spread to these three. Yeah. Quite because I could I can hide behind here and now I I could get the middle ground fairly well too. Yeah. And then I could just bolt one units here at the end of the game. And I could get 15 pretty much guaranteed at the end. Yeah. But um I would actually like to go first here just because I can apply the pressure and take mid board straight away. Yeah. I can move because I can move all my wolves around this way into here. Yeah. And then depending on where Dan's Reapers are, he might like lose shooting for one or two turns. Yes. Which yes. is what I'm thinking. And that could be huge for me. So I think it's better for me to go second. Mm. Uh because um I don't I don't think you need to go second because I think you're gonna be fine with your primary points. Mm -hmm. Uh I'm gonna really struggle with my oh, yes. one low objective. Point, so yeah. having second turn for me is gonna get me some primaries back at the end oh, of the game. Yes. Which I would really like. And uh oh, first yeah. turn I can't see a fat lot anyway. So because yeah. it's pretty huge, isn't it? Because if you go first you have to move in turn four onto all the things you want to score in the last battle yes, round. Yes, yes. But then I can bolt out, kill whatever I want, and then, and have, then score at and the And then end. have a whole turn, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, so it's it's much better for me primary-wise uh, to, to go, go second. second. Yes. Ooh, interesting. So mm. I want to go first, and you want to go second. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see the dice gen gods gen again. Gentleman's agreement, yeah? <laughs> Gentleman's agreement. Gentleman's agreement. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> we'll just see, because the wolf gods are probably listening to this. Come on, Wolf Gods. No, it's a one. <laughs> oh, the only time oh you'll God. ever see him roll a one. How many sixes did you roll last week? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, guys. Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> I would have roll off that I didn't want to win. <laughs> so, it's not too bad for me. <laughs> because like we said, Dan, Dan's Reapers can't really shoot anything. So I think a Wraith Lord will be able to. And the Shining Spears will come and do whatever they want. But I don't think the Reapers are going to have a very good target turn one. And then after that, I've just got the benefit of Dan not scoring very well on primaries now. Mm -hmm. And me scoring well. So Dan's going to have to try and whittle me down quick now, I think. And get secondaries. Yay.
Okay, so first move of pace. I just I was wondering really whether to play quite defensively or not. But as I was talking about before, I wanted to go second. So um, I'm I, I'm going to really struggle for primaries now because uh, the the final turn was where I was going to if I was going to play quite defensively and then jump on the objectives and get kind of like five for each turn. That's twenty, and then I would have got like thirty five points for primaries mm -hmm. if I'd have gone second. But that's not really an option now because Manny's got second turn. So I feel as though I've got to thin out Manny's... Um... Yeah, you've got to stop me getting primaries now, yeah, haven't so you? Yeah, I've got to stop you getting primaries. So I've got to thin out your mobility and stuff. So that's what I'm going for here. So uh, I've moved these spheres out here. I'm going to try and do some damage to these guys because they're infantry and they've got jetpacks. Yeah. They can go through the walls. So that's very much Manny's quickest unit. So I want to try and put a dent in them if I can. Um, the Wraith Lord's moved out here. You can get a pop shot off on the tank. No, um, no. The Warp Spiders no. rolled quite poorly, but it doesn't matter because they wouldn't have gone any further than this anyway. They've gone just past six inches, and they're going to do my Scramblers, and they're going to get me engaged on all fronts. So uh, they're doing Scramblers for the They're middle. so good, they are, aren't they? Because they can do that they're engage easy. on all fronts every turn oh, and scramble for you. Plane spiders, but they're so good for the secondaries. They do Scramblers, they do engage. They run out, they jump and get objectives, they kill little units. They're, they they're, can deny primaries. They can guarantee you scramblers and engagement on fronts like every turn. Six so. plus seven, yeah. and then you quicken them. And you can still do an action. And then, uh, yeah, and then because it's not an advance, you can still do an action. That's incredible. That man. is insane. They are yeah. a brilliant unit. They're really good. And then uh, my Dire Avengers have come out. So they've come out here, Punks. they've got engage for me, and then they are literally just within 10 inches of that objective there. And I just want to be just within 10 because this unit of Wolfguard, Wolfguard over here are... Um, I can get to it. They can they can get to them. I think they're within like 24 or they're just out of 24 or something. Okay. So I've pushed them back as far as I can. As far as I physically can. Um, nice. And then, yeah, I've got my spears in here ready for the next... Send in the next suicidal wave of shining spears. Yeah. And my reapers are in here. Because they're, they're not moving because they can't shoot anything. They that objective see. is on the bottom floor, guys. We've just put it yes. there so you can yes. see it better on the camera. I, yeah, I just wanted we, to show it on the around. camera, but it is it is on the bottom floor. It's not up there. Um, and then, yeah, that's so that's it, really. Just trying to score some these secondaries. Punks. Look at these punks. <laughs> oh, yeah, these guys have moved out here because um, nothing really... If I send my spears over and my spears are in this corner here, then nothing can come out, and nothing can charge them, and nothing can shoot them turn one. That's nice. So I put them there as a bit of a threat to go. Well, okay, if you want to run up into the middle, I've got a bit of a counter. Oh no, yeah, that's really cool for you. Something. That's really cool for you. That's why they're a cool little counter stick. The counter charge beats them. You know? <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're tough, and uh, even against the shooting, they, like when you put the powers on them, they're they're mint. They're really really good. So. Uh, let's do some powers then, shall we? So I'm going to go with uh, the four seer on foot here. Oh yes. I'm going to spend one CP. Ah, oh, one CP. And I'm going to link up that four seer and the warlock on the bike. The warlock on the bike, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll start with that four seer. Oh yes. So uh, he has um, guide fortune, and then he has the plus two power, plus two to cast. Oh yes, folks. Well. So he's going to go guide first. So it goes off on a seven with plus one is eight. Yep. Then he's going to cast uh, the plus two to cast. Uh, goes off on a five with a well, that, that's a five because one's counts twos, and then I get plus ones again, so it's a six. Nice. And then I'm gonna spend a CP, and he's gonna cast an extra power. Very nice. And I'm gonna make him cast fortune on, uh, and I'm gonna put it on the wraith lord. Ah, because, uh, interesting choice. Uh, so that's four, five, six, plus one because I'm linked seven. Nice. It goes off. Ah, cool. Yeah. Right, because Lord. these guys can't be shot. Punk. Punk. So, and, I, and I've oh. got a feeling. Makes sense. I've got a feeling there could be some multi melters <laughs> coming his way. Coming his way. <laughs> so, <laughs> it might save me a couple of wounds. So, um, there you go. I'll put fortune on them. Nice. And then, oh, this because the spears, you might be wondering why I'm not putting up the spears. The spears are very much dead to me. <laughs> yeah, man. If they, they come in dead. here. They're, they're, they're going to get wiped. They're dead. They will no matter, get charged. It doesn't matter how much I try and protect them, they're dead. So, uh, oh, so that's that. So that's him done. He's done very well. Well done, Farsi. Um, then I've got this. No, we'll go. Uh, do I need to put anything else on then? And these boys? I've put guide on uh, them. Yeah, you don't want to. You want to protect these boys here. Yeah, I want to protect them. So we'll do so. quicker next. Yeah. I've got to do it in order of what I want to go off in case I need to see people. In case you need a reroll somewhere. So we'll quicken them. Uh, so he's uh, that counts as a two, so that's three, four, five, and then he's got plus two to cast from the far seer, 
And plus one for linking. So, so I rolled a four and it goes off on an eight. <laughs> that's cool, man. The thing is, you need the reliability, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it. These shiny I'll, spears I'll are going to move, gonna move right here. I'll move them in a minute. Yeah, you might as well do your, the rest of your powers yeah, first. And then uh, this guy here is going to cast Protect. Oh, this yes. is the Spirit Seer. It uh, goes off on an eight. And then I've just got my Farseer here. The Doom put, Seer. Um, yeah, he's going to put Doom on uh, that unit of Wolf Guard over there. Uh, four, five, six doesn't go off. Mm. I will use Farseer reroll. I'm not sure if I can if I can reroll just one of the dice with my Farseer reroll. I can't. I can't mm. remember. I can't remember whether that was just a thing before. Let me double check. And come Might back be a thing. So the power says that I can reroll any number of the dice. However, quick maths. Uh, so my ones count as twos. So I've gone. Oh, I'm one off. I've just got to roll a two plus. But that's not the case. Because my two still count as twos. <laughs> <laughs> Your twos don't count as three. God damn it, you know, you? <laughs> so I think I'm like it's lit it's a couple of percent in it, but I'm more likely if I just re-roll the roll, the whole roll. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Because your other dice could compensate for the yes. one being low. Oh no, it's no, the no, same it's, roll. It's the same roll. <laughs> it's the exact oh, same roll. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, so thinking about it, thinking about it, what I should have done, obviously, but I did it the wrong way. I linked this Farseer and this one, mm -hmm. but all he was casting was Guide. Mm -hmm. These two should have been linked. So there you go. Oh. So that's uh, that's something for the for the next yeah, time. Yeah, because your mind automatically drifts to go, oh, the guy that's casting three surely should have plus one rather than the guy yes. casting one. Yes. But the guy casting one had the, the most important power. The important power yeah. should be getting the plus one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Think, think. <laughs> think. <laughs> Okay, cool. So uh, that's it, really. Oh, I've just got. Oh, I should have. I should have moved them off, uh, off camera. So oh yeah, I'll, these boys are just I'll moving over here. Move those in a moment, and then uh, yeah, that's it. So here you go. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you're into shooting, aren't you? Anyway, yeah, when you move them, shooting, so, I, so you we all know they're going right in front of the tank, yeah, yeah, aren't they? They're going right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, these boys as well, Dan. You said they're bang on ten from that objective. Do you yeah. want them to be eleven? Could you move seven, don't you? So yeah. you auto advance eight, even if you roll a one. So you could be eleven. So you can be out of twenty-four of me. If you're an inch back and you get to that oh, automatically. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got that seven inch move. Let's just, let's just double check. I mean, it, sh it probably doesn't matter. They are, I think I'm. Oh, you think you're just I, about I, out. I think yeah, I'm just about. Fine. I couldn't remember whether I was just about out or just about in. So. Nice. Look at them. They think they're safe. They do. These boys do. <laughs> when they come over here and my Storm Raven you comes fools. in. When they come over here and the Storm Raven comes in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh someone's going to get Hurricane Bolton. <laughs> here they come then, guys. Okay. Right there so, in front of me. Yes, Look at that. My there. little wolf pup protecting the protecting the wolf guard. No, oh, wolf oh. <laughs> the, the wolf pup. Okay, then. So, the wolf pup. So, 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 so. I've not got Doom up, so that means I was going to put a lance into the pup. To try and to try and kill him off. Yeah, no Doom's pretty big. But, it, I mean, going um, into no, them no, guys no, without without Doom. Doom. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. So I'll tell you what we'll do first though. We'll fire the lance up here. Oh into, yes, uh, into, into the uh, into the into the tank. Into the tank. So um, two bright lances. Two bright lances. <gasps> One hit. One hit. Now we're oh, doing three. Remember as well, I'm toughness eight. Yeah, so we're doing four. Yeah. I'm like a battle tank. You're it's like an eight. yeah, it's like an impulsor with tougher armor. I mean, it's it's a bit strange because it's it's midway. It's an impulsor. Yeah, because the impulsor chassis. Yeah, with like bulk on it, so it's it's like a little bit bigger than an impulsor, but it's way smaller than it's a not repulsor. Any bulk on it. It's, it's an impulsor with a top hatch on it. That's yeah. what it is. It's closed. It, an impulsor's open at the back, isn't it? Completely. That's, so no, it's like it's no, like an odd no. case on a battle wagon, all right. Weird. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's way smaller than a repulsor. Yeah. So it doesn't. To be honest, it doesn't make sense because you'd expect it because it's only a little no, bit bigger than impulsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd expect it to either be tough to say or have more wounds, but it's got both. It's tough to say and more wounds. It's got twelve wounds. Yeah. No, it's like a Lehmanus battle tank now. To ask to <laughs> no, yeah, you would have done four. Right? <laughs> yeah, I just went on four then. Nope. Okay. Uh, right then, the spears. So um, I'm going to put two guys' guns into the pub. Two guys Damn, yeah. underslung shurikens into the yeah, pub. Yeah, underslung shurikens into the and pub. And then, uh, and then I'm going to put the rest of it into the um, the unit at the at the back. Oh, the unit running to my tank. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so two two shurikens into the pub. Got guide. Oh, 
<laughs> oh god. Uh, toughness four, pause. Uh, that is one at minus three. So just go straight through. Yeah, go straight through. And then three at uh, three minus, minus one. one. So three five up saves. Yep. No, he's dead. Dead. Hi, Bubble Bob. You is gone, son. And then um, we're going to fire the. Uh, oh, I should have fired the flat. flat yeah, do the, do the flat twos do first. Yeah, yeah do the flat twos work. first. Yep. Okay, so these are these four are the normal guys. Normally. And then uh, the X arc. You run it for God. Okay. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take that out. Oh, yeah, because the Exarch wounds on twos, doesn't he? <laughs> there we go. So we've got an Exarch and the normal guy. So the Exarch wounds on twos, the other wounds on threes. Oh, nice. Okay. And then we've got four up in vulnerables against all this? Yep. Four up in vulnerables. Two. Two. Uh, I'll take the averages. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. And then we've got one, two. Um, should I take that? Yeah, I probably should take that. There we go. Okay. And then the shuriken's going in. Guys, they're right in front of you. What's, what's the matter with you? <laughs> there we go. They're going for it. There we go. Uh, fours. Oh, Doom would have been nice. Oh, Doom would have been oh, really nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. And not a single seat. <laughs> so oh, these are. about the sixes anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So these oh. are just three ups. One goes through. Hey, one takes a wound. Why oh, is it three ups? Sorry. I've got Storm Shields, haven't I? So I've got a two up save. Oh. Oh, wow. One wound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gone so wrong. So horribly uh, yeah. wrong. You really needed there. Doom, I think. You really yeah, needed, needed it. Doom. I think you would have totaled the squad with Doom. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. Uh, that's all my shooting then, I think. Oh, I'm just going to I'm gonna shoot my farce here. And then I'm going to fire and fade. <laughs> okay. So he's there. And then, Very nice. Yeah, that's it. That's all my shooting. So, yeah, what's that? Two, um, two wolf guards. Two wolf guards, man. Hey, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gone hey. horribly. It's two and a half, mate. <laughs> it's two and a half. Okay, what have we got here then? So, um, so I think I could charge you, be out of three of these, and be within an inch of these, I think. Oh, yes, but remember, these can only intervene six for one CP, can't they? Because I auto heroic three, but one unit can only intervene six for one CP. Okay, that's fine. Well, this will make you spend a CP, right? Yep, yep. So, uh, no, yes. it's a good choice, actually. I think going for these two, because the one thing I would do is because you're like, you need to kind of like move six to get to that guy, don't you? Mm -hmm. Or something. If you went for that third squad, I would then minus two off your charge for having a repulsive mm -hmm. chassis. Yeah. And then you'd have to roll like a seven or an eight, just to make it like if you're all slightly below average, you won't get so in. So, we'll but, just declare these guys here. Yeah, it's not worth it. You'll get in on a anything but a double one. If yeah. I, even if I use the if I use the thing, the only way I can make fun oh, is yeah. a double one. <laughs> yeah, let's see I'll, if I'll, I'll roll here if you want. There you go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, Very nice. So I can be within an inch of him there. Nice. So they just go in there. And then uh, we can go awesome. around here. And then, actually, if I just go within an inch of you, none of these can fight at the back, can they? Oh yeah, no, you, you don't want to do that. I do want you? to be within half an inch, don't I? Yeah, you want to be with him. You could heroically intervene maybe. six inches, then base him, then he couldn't move any further, then no mm. one around him could fight anyone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, you have just tab tagged the tank, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then he's yeah, he's gonna budge in then. Cool, cool, cool. And then yeah. all of them are within half an inch of that guy, so they can choose who wherever they want yeah, to fight. Exactly, right? yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well I can't fight into him because I didn't declare him, but so I'll just move within an inch of him. There. Okay. Oh you haven't you haven't declared the tank? I would have the tank. Ah! Interesting. Because then you could overwatch me. Oh, yes, I could. <laughs> yes, I could. So I'm definitely not declaring the tank. Yes, I could. Okay. Um, Three for the XR. Yes. So I have a stratagem called Hammer of Wrath. I just want to see how that works. Like, can I use it when I heroically intervene, or is it only when I charge? So I'll just come back. To you. Okay. So it was just, uh, you can't do that Hammer of Wrath when you, when you heroically intervene. It was only, yeah, you have no, to do the charge phase, obviously. It's got yes. the charge phase. Yes. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to attack with my spears into the five-man unit that I've charged. And yes. all I've done when I've piled in, I've, I've just nudged with, within an inch of that tank. So, uh, yeah, gone within an inch of that tank. So they can, because they've got this stratagem, 
because Marines, they can spend a CP and fall back and shoot. Yes. But then at least I'm, at least getting, I'm spending at least a I'm CP. getting a CP of money, so yeah. that's fine. What I will do, though, I will spend a CP to do Supreme Disdain. Oh, cool. So, you know, we've not rolled amazingly oh. well so far. So that means Carl That's dangerous without any rerolls to hit. He's going to come back in and roll loads of sixes. So you get eight normal attacks, haven't you? Oh, and then three, yeah, Two, two four, six, eight normal attacks. Yeah. Three for the XR. Nice. Come on, boys. Sixes. <laughs> no! <laughs> One six. Oh, no. And then uh, the two white ones are twos. It's a good job. Oh, it is a good job. You're all, <laughs> you're all that the right way around, didn't you? <laughs> cool. And then I've got four up in vulnerables because oh, obviously nice. I've got storm shields. Storm shield. Oh no, yeah. that's very lucky for you. That's good. I'm gonna CP one. <sighs> Why did you CP one? Man? That's a squad. Yeah. What are you gonna do with one one wolf? Card? Uh, I, I've got banners, and now I've only got three infantry models in my army left. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, yeah, that's why you'd CP one. <laughs> So yeah, they're dead. Oh yeah, I wasn't expecting that. There you go. Then that kind of because Doom didn't go off. But if Doom would have gone off, that's probably where I should be. If Doom would have gone off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting you to kill a squad in combat. To be honest, I thought I would. Uh, I thought I would get you back there. Look at that. But I'm pretty happy with that it's just seven wolf guard. No, it's just not seven wolf guard and a wolf pup. And then okay, they then. can uh, go so, to where they want. What I will do is I will. Um, consolidate around here with all of them because then when you want to come over and charge them you probably can't do it from like behind the wall with loads of stuff you have to come out at some point to do something yeah yeah and you're gonna have to go more that way makes sense more that way with, an, the, the, with everything that so. makes sense to me cool uh, yeah so that's it really mate cool that's it for me so, uh, yeah, not, not a bad turn there. I didn't... Oh! Oh! Oh, I wonder. Has that got me... I've, oh, I don't know. Are they within... Because they, they could be the quarter, right? To engage. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I bet I'm just out. I bet I'm just out. No! <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh! They're in! Yeah, wait. cool, man. <laughs> By the smallest <laughs> of margins, they've got me a point. You asses. <laughs> you asses. <laughs> No way. Nice. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> yeah, that's three unengaging all so fronts. Three unengaging all fronts. Um, no, no, shh. You totally planned that. <laughs> and then uh, priority target. Nice. So I'm holding that guy there. And then I've started my deploy scramblers. Yes. So, not a bad turn, actually. Yeah, nice. I out, and that was kind of what I was expecting. <laughs> So guys, losing all of the Wolfguard squad, turn one, really hurt because I've only got one unit left now that can do banners and it's a three man unit. <laughs> so they could get butchered a little bit. And uh, I was really hoping to use the Wolfguard in this game to go around picking, picking up all the chap later on. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'll be able to do that now. I have to get some banners. So they just uh, moved that way a little bit. They're an inch away from all the walls so they can't be shot or charged unless it's from inside the ruin. Yep. And then the Gladiator's gone this way to protect them and it's gonna shoot. And um, I've raised a banner. That orange dice on the objective is a banner. So they have just raised uh, raised a banner on that objective. And that's because I need to get some points on that. Yeah. I need to get some points on that. And the idea was if I went first, I was going to raise a banner there and the other unit in front of them was going to go and raise a banner on the middle. Yes. Because I think I'm holding the middle all game. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a really mobile unit for you because they've got that infantry keyword. Yeah. So that's why, I want, that's why I wanted to get rid of them. Yeah, exactly. So I was just going to do... Oh, and also I need to just do that... So they're within six. Oh no, they don't need to be. Never mind. It's fine. Um, what I've done is I've moved my wolf lord 
14 inches around here. Yep. So he's got like a four inch charge. He's like just within five of them. So he's got like four inch charge to them. But in case he fails, the three Vanguard are there. And if they get in, they're, I think they'll kill them anyway. Uh -huh. But it was just in case they fail, he's he's in there too. Yeah, yeah. But um, they can go to like here. And then there'll be three uh, Thunderwolves in range of him too to protect him from that. Cool. And uh, that's it really. I've just moved like that. These guys here, they just went 16 and 12 out of here, around to there. Yes. Murder fanged, advanced 12 inches over there. Yeah. And Bjorn just moved six because he wants to multi melt to the Raid yes. Lord. This thing and Bjorn are the only things with guns. They're both just going to go into the Raid Lord. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a really good choice to put fortune on them. So you spent the CP to make him fall back and shoot? Yes. Oh, yes. Spent the CP, make him fall back and Down shoot. to six. There we go, guys. We're stripping away those CPs <laughs> slowly but surely. But yeah, I think it was a great choice to put fortune on him. Yeah. Yeah, because the only target. Mm -hmm. The only target. But uh, yeah, I moved these all into the middle because the Wraith Blades are pretty terrible into me. They're D3 damage. I've got mm -hmm. four wounds and eight wounds reducing damage. But So they're D3 minus one damage yeah, against yeah, me. Yeah. I, yeah, I just don't think they'll do anything if they go in there. So if they want to keep keep on their cause of coming down the middle, I'm going to have them. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. We have plans for the Wraith Blades. Don't you worry no. about the Wraith Blades, no, man. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, because they can run away pretty quick if they want to as well, can't they? Because mm -hmm. they can what, auto advance 11 and mm -hmm. then move they'll be, again. They'll be quickened, yeah. Yeah, so they can go to the flank objectives really quickly mm -hmm. if they want to. Maybe. Well, maybe. Well, yeah. but, uh, but I'm also pretty quick. Like I can also move and advance to them as well. So I can, I could fight them wherever they go, kind of thing. But uh, I just want to secure the middle. The middle objective is very big for me. Yeah. It's less important for Dan. It's bigger for me because because of domination. Yes, yes. And that's the reason I moved one side wolf over there on that objective as well. There he is. Because I need to, uh, I need to hold that. Bow wow. Hold that. And then um, that's it. Really, you just got to make a few charges and do that. Cool. So shooting first, then. So we've got Bjorn going into the Wraith Lord. Yeah, right? come on, Manny. Show me some ones. Oh, actually, I think I should fire the tank first. Because um, it will depend if Bjorn needs to use CPs to reroll a damage roll. But this thing's not going oh, to be yeah. so I might as well do That's it a good point. That's a very good point. I like that. I like the way you think, Manny. So we've got this twice for the Onslaught Gatling. Yep. <laughs> so threes. Pretty decent. Pretty. It's oh, if one. only it could reroll one. Minus one because it falls back and shoots. Nah. Not like ultramarines. Or nah. Nah. Oh, if I could have rerolled ones and then five to it. So one so far. Two, three, four. Four. So there's four saves on it at minus two. So that gives him a five up save. Oh, saves two. Nice. Nice, nice. And then it's uh, one damage each, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two fortune saves. Two fortune saves. Oh, yeah! Fortune oh, coming no. into its own there. And then we've got the, the two Tempest Bolters. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. There must be some fog or something going on around here, because none of us... Uh, one wound. <laughs> none of us can roll to hit. Or, That's or, okay. Uh, That's just minus one. And then we've got the Iron Hell Heavy Stubber. All hit. One wound, minus one. And then the Icarus Rocket Pod, which is two shots, both hit, fives. Nope, nothing. Oh, so it's done nothing. Okay, now if you could do the same with Bjorn. This is where he just aces him now, guys. What, what this is, is this? worse than two hits, two hits, zero? two wounds, tw zero. 12 damage. Oh, I didn't pass any feel of pain. Oh, no. That was like 40 shots. <laughs> 40 shots. So Bjorn, two hits. No. One wound. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's probably worth a CP, just to damage you. I think so. Yep. Yep. How come I couldn't do that with my bright lances? <laughs> go on. 11 damage. Oh, there you go. I'll take it. I mean, I was close, right? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. There we go. Nice. Five up Villanova Bains. So I pass one, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's done really well, wow. man. Fortune was amazing. Really See, well. if I didn't put Fortune on him, he'd be dead. He'd be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you would have taken two from the tank. Yeah. So and you did and 11, didn't you? 11 yep. damage on so two dice, Manny. You arse. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, six to go through. She's so got four left. Four left. Cool. So at least four he's damaged. Left. At least he's damaged. And, uh, yeah, I think the tank should have killed him there, I think. Yeah, probably. With, with all of that. Probably. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Well, you whiff, Arnold. 
You killed some winning combat, I could kill some winning combat, and I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, he rolled 11 on two dice, 11 damage on two dice, but he whipped you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these boys then are going to go into them. Okay. Is it really? Mm, I don't know about overwatching here. No, you could do. Because I've got guide. Mm-hmm. So I'm re rolling, and then my shurikens are all minus one. Although you are tough as five, yeah, I don't right? Because you would have been on fives, and then I've got a three up save because I've got a two up storm shield. Yeah, and they've got they've got a four up inbound, haven't they? Yeah. I could just I could could get lucky here. I don't think so. They're four wins a bottle, and your lances aren't really going to hit, are they? But yeah, it's it's only because it could know. be. I'm just thinking, right? Because you've got three three in a squad, right? Yeah. All right. Now you see, Manny's kind of relying on these guys on the end here to protect his wolf lord to be the three man unit, which means I can't target. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I kill one, or if the wolf lord rolls his four inch charge, if I kill one, oh no, 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 because they're they're gonna get in anyway. If I kill one, they can't protect the wolf lord then. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Let me have a think. Let me have a think. Okay, right. So I'm um, I'm not I'm not gonna do it, but just <laughs> so Manny was like, Yeah, there's no way you should do it. So I was like, Well, let's see what would have happened and nothing happened. Not so, a so... <laughs> you don't want to hit with a spear with his guardian things and then roll a one to him. And I was like, Do you even want to roll the shuriken there? It's because so... I think guys, you gotta remember Dan's gonna link next turn. He's going to cast an extra power next turn. Mm. He's going to auto six those wraith blades somewhere, yeah, yeah. and then he's going to fire and fade the reapers back. So he needs to use four. Yeah. And if he it interrupts, uh, sorry, if he uses that here, he's got zero CP then, and yeah. then he gains one. He'll have one CP after using all those strats, yeah. which isn't enough for the next turn nope. when the storm raven comes on. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be pretty big. No, nah, we don't want to do that. That's fine. It's I fine. don't think so. In they go. Ten inches. And this is why I didn't bother putting Fortune on the spears. Because <laughs> they're going to die so horribly. So we'll go like that. And then it's just a four-inch for the Wolf Lord. Four. <laughs> oh, he just... He's just going to go there. Stay okay. in there. And then I'm going to pick you to fight last so you can't interrupt. Um, That's it, really. No. Um, go ahead and just beat the crap out of him. Oh, you're all right. Thinking. Thinking. It might make a difference to re-roll his chart. What I'm thinking, right, is um, he can, if they kill you, yeah. he can pile in four inches, yeah. and then he can consolidate seven inches with a strat, all the way over here. You can consolidate seven? Oh uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a wolf strat. Uh, it's really quite cool, actually. It's called Relentless Assault, and you use the strat in the fight phase when a space of unit from your army consolidates, each model in the unit can move up to an additional three inches for that consolidation move. And obviously I go four because I'm on a Thunderwolf. Wow. So I go seven. So he could just catapult 11 towards you, which gets him to like there. Yeah. What I'm thinking is if his charge gets him to like here, then he moves 11. He can go all the way over here and kind of be like that. It's pretty horrendous that, isn't it? So I could reroll the charge to get a little bit further out. You could. Is all I'm thinking. But then I could also fail it. Yes, you could. So it might not be worth it at all. Might not be worth it at all. What would Manny do? Hashtag, what would Manny do? What would Manny do? Because, interesting fact for you guys, the only thing that will be able to shoot him is the Reapers, and the Reapers won't kill him. No, no. Yeah, because he's got a, he's got a three-up save against Reapers, because he has one-up armor, because uh, he has the armor of Russ, and then a Storm Shield gives him a one-up. Um, and you cannot reroll wound draws against him, so Doom does nothing. And he's got seven wounds. You can't reroll wounds uh, against so, uh, The Beast, Saga of the Beast. Uh, Resolve of the Bear, sorry. Nice. Resolve of the Bear. And he's got a six of fear on pain. Nice. He can't reroll wounds and he's got seven wounds. So I actually think him getting to there would be real. I don't think Dan could get me off that objective. Is what I'm thinking. With just one guy. You're wrong. So it could be. You're wrong. I could, but get it's a I could get him. No it's problem. A <laughs> I think I will do it, you know. I think I will do it. Oh. I think I will do oh, it. God, come on. Come on, karma. Karma kick in and fail it. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh yes! Oh, <laughs> Universal no. justice oh, no. at its best. <laughs> right. Well, these boys are gonna hit there then. Come on, Spears, you can live. <laughs> so um, I am. I am gonna spend one to do plus one to wound. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah. So, I uh, got the fists. All it. Oh, my God. I should have done bestial nature. 
Because I would have got exploding sixes. I'm glad I didn't spend a CP to uh, be minus one to hit. Twos. That oh many, my <laughs> god, you shouldn't even get close to that. I should get pretty close actually, because I'm hitting on threes rerolling ones. Oh, my you're rerolling ones? For minus, a minus one either. Oh, I forgot you were rerolling ones. Okay. Yeah, for the wall. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they're core. Yeah you, yeah, you should get that. So six ups? Oh, no. You're minus three, right? Yeah. You're what? not protected. What? Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You protected them. No, I didn't protect them because nothing can shoot them, remember? Nothing can shoot them, so what's the point in protecting them? <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, sorry, because we said, oh, because we're going to protect them because there's no point in protecting them because they're just going to die. No, I said there's no point fortune in them. Oh, okay. Because they're just going to die anyway. Oh, okay. But I said there's no point putting, oh, okay. protect, okay, putting yeah, anything on them. That. Okay. Uh, well, cool. that, sh still sh that still shouldn't happen. Yeah, man. So uh, two of them die then, and then I've got my wolves. Uh, is the, the, oh, yeah, fists are flat two now, right? Yeah. Flat two. Okay. Twos. Rolling ones. And then twos. Okay. Four ones. Oh, nice. There you okay. go. And these are just minus one, I believe, or minus two. One of the two. Oh, it doesn't matter. Even if they're minus oh, one. Oh, wow. Yeah, even if they are. Bloody hell. Okay. Oh, wow. Two and a half die. More than the fists, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so uh, nice. four, uh, four, four and a half die. Four and a half die. Nice. Oh, I, oh I, could, I suppose I could take the X arc off, couldn't I? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because he'd be the half. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he'd be the half. So I've got two guys left. So you could have one guy, no, one guy left on his two own. Two guys done. Or half an X arc left. Okay, yeah. Because four and a half of them. Oh, yeah, we'll have half the X arc. So even if the X arc was one of them, he we'll would We'll definitely die. have half the X arc left. <laughs> yeah, definitely have half the X arc left. Okay. Makes sense. And then we get to consolidate before you get to do anything. Yep. Yeah. And. Yeah, you've been charged. You have been charged. So oh, they're only they're oh, yeah, strength. They're strength I'm three. Out of of you. No, but I'm out of each of you. So oh, okay, yeah. there'd be no point going into you. Yeah, would there? Oh, actually, yeah. Like you said, you're strength three because you haven't charged, right? No, I haven't. Charged, yeah, so I might as well just just do that and go go with an interview. They might can't. Well. They can't fall back and act normally. So if you work with an yeah. inch of him, he could he go could off do and shoot. Do. We could do whatever we want. He could go off and shoot something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. And then you get to hit me back. Okay. With whatever he has. One hit. Nope, nothing. Nice, nice. Not Bloody a wolf lord, you idiot. <laughs> I was hoping that he'd come and take this. Yeah. That would have been really big. Mm, yeah, if he came to here and sat there and like nothing could touch him for a turn. I... Well, the thing is though, right? The thing right. is, mm. let's say that that happened there and mm. um, and then there's a guy, there's still a guy there. Now, you could have been around there, but you still couldn't come over here because you'd have to go towards the closest thing. I yeah, would have yeah, taken. But he a, be dead. I would have taken. Oh yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah. exactly. But but I mean, even if you'd have made your charge there, mm -hmm. I would have taken off the guys in combat with him, and left the guy over on the right hand oh, side. Over, so you'd still. So, so you. So you. Didn't matter what was happening. They couldn't go there. Yeah, only now. So, yeah, only now. Yeah, but I mean, even if you made your charge. Yeah, yeah. It still yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Even if you made your charge, because yeah, yeah, of what yeah, happened, yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't matter, right? Bloody idiot. Bloody yeah. idiot. But yeah, so that's uh, that's me. I did get domination because I'm on three objectives. Mm-hmm. And I got priority target, and that's it. I raised a banner to get next turn. Cool. That's it, really. Because, uh, yeah, my CPs are pretty low, but like if I, all of my strats are like one CP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. matter too much to me. And I use like two a turn or something. Mm -hmm. I know Dan's going to use a lot here, so. Yeah, I am, yeah. So we've not got 
very much of an exciting turn here at all. So, um, because Manny's pushed forward here, uh, and the wall, so what, what the, the, the original plan that I was thinking of was to block him off here with like some spiders or something <laughs> like that. But it's the six inch heroic intervention, which means I would have to block him like back here somewhere. Pathetic then, toughness three, yeah, that's what and it then is. At that point, I bother, <laughs> like he moves 10 anyway, so like he'll move up here, then charge them. Then consolidate and whatever, or you can just kill him. Yeah, because I can do the whole consolidate six inches after exactly, six yeah. inches after fighting and stuff so like that. It all seems a bit pointless, to be fair. So all I've done is I've moved my spears and my reapers in here, so they're tight in that ruin there. Oh yes. I've moved these Dire Avengers yeah. down here. Can't see anything. So then, if the storm raven were to come in like nine inches away over here, then he can't see any, any of the, the the reapers or yeah. the spears. I'd be like down here. I could see Dire Avengers and Wraith Blades. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I don't want to get <laughs> I don't want to get a drop on these. So and, then, and like I said, I, I can't really do anything. But while that ball is there, I can't really do much anyway. So um, yeah, the reapers can't really get into them reliably. Well, the reapers can't get to them. So that means shining spears going into there would be so with my pointless. Reapers again, I can't yeah. do it. So like we saw, they well. just about killed five wolf guard. Yeah, like, that's not even like three wolves. Yeah. Like, so I, I, may, I may as well just concentrate on my secondaries. Yeah, try and get my secondaries going, and then, um, and then that's the thing because I've got that raise the banners, and I'm only going to get like five points on that now. If I hold that objective all game, I'm yeah. going to get like five points. Yeah. So that's one of my secondaries basically out of it straight away. Yeah. So Dan knows if he can scramble. Get and then just keep doing his priority and engage. He'll win by a couple of points mm -hmm. if I don't push his. If I don't start pushing for primaries now, yeah. he'll win and by then, a couple of points. And then if Manny starts coming forward, I'm quick enough to leap React, over the top yeah. of him and then start start. So I'm just very much playing the skirmish game here. Uh, so I've moved. Uh, I moved my wraith around here. He's going to make a. He's, well, he's going to try and make a charge on the dog. <laughs> it's like a four inch charge. Get some the range. Dog. Get some range. Uh, it's. Uh, I've moved my spiders under here. Uh, that were that were here really, and that's just. Um, they're an option for they're, they're getting my engage but so is the Wraith Lord but they're an option for me in future turns very nice they don't need to be out they can't do much anyway really so um, they're going to go there and then over here my uh, Shining Spear that survived there fell back uh, oh I, I sorry we didn't remember that he had to take a morale test oh I, yes I, I yeah he passed the morale I rolled a 3 so he's fine there so he is. moves out over there and then I've, dr I've deep struck my spiders in behind that wall there and they're going to do my scramblers in man's deployment zone for me. little punks look at them look at them <laughs> think they're safe don't they yeah so yeah we've just got a few powers to uh, to get off really um, oh. so 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 uh, I'm going to cast so I've got my guide and fortune guy so fortune's important. I think fortune and protect are your biggest powers here, and aren't they? Because important. you don't want the storm raven to hit them yes. with without anything. Yeah. So uh, that's the important thing. Now I do want quicken to go off, but I've got a, just a natural reroll for my warlord trait with quicken. So yeah, that doesn't really matter. So um, I'm not going to link up anything because I can't link oh. up my far soon. Oh, he's a spirit storm with protect. Ah, I see. I Which see. is why I want okay. a double warlock on a bike. Okay. But it's. On its way through the painting studio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, 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 there's no point me linking it up. So uh, okay. that is what it is. So uh, yes, we'll go. We'll start on the, the farce here. So we'll go uh, fortune. Goes off. Very nice. Um, then there's no point putting guide on anything because I can't shoot with anything. And this, the, the I'd, put, I'd like to put guide on him, <laughs> but he's just out of twenty four to keep my four inch charge to the dog. <laughs> so uh, he is what it is. Um, so then I will cast the plus two to cast. Oh, yes. Yeah, that goes off. And I'll put that on the spirits here nice. for protect. For protect. <laughs> and then uh, we'll do protect on the spirits here. Goes off. Perfect. And then uh, we'll do quicken with the warlock on the bike. Nice. Uh, five. Nope, but he's got to reroll his warlock chain. Doesn't go off. Go. Cool. All right then. Um, then that's it, really. Certainly is I think, think that's it for my... I hope you tell your four inch shot. I will laugh so hard. <laughs> I've got my Doom and stuff on the other guy, but he, he's back here as well, so he's tucked away nice and safely. Don't need that and anything. I've been so, a pop shot. The Gladiator! Yeah, he's going to go with the Gladiator. <laughs> yeah, because you can't shoot uh, Bjorn back as a character. Yeah. So you've got to go for the, got to go for him. Uh, so, don't do um, I'm on four wounds. That'll be middle brackets. I'll be hitting you on four. Oh, are you going into the forest or...? No, 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 because no, it'll slow my charge okay. down. Okay, because then I'm minus one for the forest as well. So it'd be fives, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a hit! It's still a hit! 
And a three again. <laughs> that toughness eight is so big. Thanks, GW. Yeah, toughness eight. Look at it. Okay, and then uh, yeah, that's so. It's that's... closed back, Dan. I'll have you know, <laughs> closed back. That's what does it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Go Maybe. on. And then, uh... If I can find a forward charge, so, yeah, yeah. so can okay, you. Just, just the charge into the dog. Oh, oh, I should have come back here and got guide. Oh, 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 oh. Ten inches. He's not playing. Oh, he's getting brave because it's a little pup, isn't he? <laughs> is that what's is that is that what's happening here, Dan? He's getting brave just because it's a little puppy he's yeah. going to kill. Yeah, we're within an inch, and then I will pile in. Ooh, so I'll touch the forest. Nice. <laughs> just a really minor one. That then. is the way to do it. That is and, the way to uh, do it. Yeah, so I've, I've actually got no idea how many attacks he's got. I think he's got like four or five. Attacks. It'll be like four or five. Let's have a quick look. Right then, okay, so yeah, he's got four attacks, not five. So he's hitting on fours, and he's strength seven with his fists. So he's wounded on threes. Nice. Wounding Le Dog on threes. Two. No, my doggo. And he's dead. He's minus, minus three. three. Flat three. Oh, my little cyber pup. Dead. <laughs> no. Cool. Okay, then. So what we're going to do. So you're going to consolidate? Is I'm going to consolidate. And strangely enough, I'm going to go towards you. Nice. But what I can do is stay on the ruin there. Mm -hmm. Stay within three. And then by doing this, it makes it more difficult for your gladiator to shoot him. Oh yes, yes, yes. Because you can't kind of come around here. You'll have to come around here and shoot him. Yeah. And then you're not you're not sitting over there at the back. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah, that's that's it really. That's cool. That's all we're gonna do. Right, I see. Look at that. He's all around us. He's in my backfield. He's up there in that quarter. Yeah, He's in that quarter. Everywhere. He's over yeah. here with some Dire Avengers in this ruin. <laughs> my God. So uh, three for engaging all fronts again. One, two, three, and three for priority target again. Nice. Got some secondaries ticking away nicely there. He's doing well. He's doing well. Right guys, right. This is the turn. I need to run out, hit some stuff. Just just a few things like the little units. The plan is here, I want to hold these three objectives. Oh. Um, but make it because getting to this one will be pretty hard for Dan, especially killing the toughness eight tank, like yeah. you've seen. It's pretty hard for Dan to come and kill that and take this objective off me. So I like that banner being there. I've just gone there and raised a second banner on the middle objective with the wolf guard. They've just moved from this one to that one. Raised the banner there. In there so they've raised that banner there. And I'm pretty confident I can hold that. I've got two units of Thunderwolves in there that can't get shot. Yeah. They, they can only be charged. Yeah. And I think if Dan brings the Wraith Blades this way, there's two units of Thunderwolves there and two Dreads there that are minimum, like three damage with rerolls to wound and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's a good play for him. <laughs> so if he comes that way, I'm happy. They're all an inch away from the wall. So Dan's gonna, he's the only thing he could charge is Murder Fang right here. Yeah. If because because I'm still an inch away from that wall, so he'd have to come all the way over here, which I think is far anyway. Yes. And then he has to quicken that unit, and someone mm -hmm. else can't quicken. Yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. the Reapers yeah. might want to do that and stuff. Very true, very true. So, um, oh, sorry, not the Reapers. The um, Shining Spears might want to do that. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Um, I'm just limiting what he can do, and I, I think I'm confident I can hold that one and that one. And what I've done is the Wolf Lord advanced 
15 inches over here. Yeah. So he's just gone straight over here and he's got like four or five inch charge to make. And then these boys advanced 15 this way. And they've just come to the front and they've got like a six, seven inch charge to make or something. Um, my tank just moved this way. So it's touched the it's touched the terrain. It's touched the ruin, so it's no longer obscuring, yep. which means I can draw true line of sight through that window and I can shoot the no. the spiders and the um, poor spiders. Thingy. But then also I can at least see the sword of that guy. Yes. That yes. helps a little bit. I can see the sword of the Wraith Lord. Yep. Um and then the Storm Raven has come in over here, so it can hurricane bolter and uh, like assault cannon everything in here. Yep. And then it's got two typhoon missile launcher shots and two storm strikes to try and kill the Wraith Knight if yeah, the Wraith if, if Lord I is, uh, if I Wraith Lord's not uh, too happy about this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then uh, it can get Dark Reapered, but um, what I'm thinking is it'll probably it'll probably get Dark Reapered. But what's a cool thing is um, the Shining Spears are like there. Yeah, and it's the Shining Spears. Won't I'm get like you. out of forty three. Yeah. So if it comes over, he's gonna make an eleven inch shot to get <laughs> yeah. in. The Shining Spears aren't coming over. Yeah. There, so it's it. What I like about that because I was debating about bringing it in over here. Yeah. Um, but if I do that, then I, I can kill these Dire Avengers over here and I can shoot the, the Wraith Blades or something. Yeah. But then I get charged by the spear. The spears will come over as a reserve for the for the Reapers. Yeah. Whereas over here now, if Dan wants to doom me, he's got to stand right in front of me and charge me. <laughs> yeah. So then I'll just charge him and he'll oh, lose doom for the game. Poor Farsi. So I don't think he'll be dooming me. So it's down to the Reapers with no doom to try and kill me, I yeah. think. Yeah. Which I think is massive for me. Yeah, man. That's why, that's why I moved him over there. Cool. Right then. Well, uh, got no psychic powers, so it's just a little bit of shooting for me. A few shots. Oh, those poor spiders. Um, <laughs> I think um, the flyer should go first. Yeah. So it's going to put the two storm strike missiles and the typhoons into the wraith knight. Yes. And then it's uh, going to put it. Wraith lord. Wraith lord. He means wraith lord. Into the wraith lord. Um, yes. And the assault cannon, I think. Okay. So it's going to put. Assault cannon and you know the, all the missiles into uh, you know, that. You know the tank is there. Yeah. Can't really shoot much else. Exactly, yeah. So just shoot that into there then. Then do you then you know you can you oh, can just put everything into yeah, it if that tank that's wipes yeah, everything. The tank, the tank should go first. Yeah. yeah. So we'll put the we'll we'll put the heavy stubber, one of the eight shot tempest bolters, because I'm in rapid fire, uh -huh. and the Icarus rocket pod into the Shining Spear. Yeah. And then I'll put the 24 shot Gatling and the other bolter into the Warp Spiders. Nice, no, okay. The Warp Spiders will do the little jiggle. Oh, yes. So they don't uh, they don't take a mortal wound. Okay. Nice. So they might as well do it. 16. 20. <laughs> 24. So the big cannon into, into them. In on fours. Warp uh, Spiders. Yeah, this is going to do him. He's going to do better this turn than he did last turn. <laughs> yeah. It's angry now. He's angry now. Two's to wound because it's strength six. Uh-oh. Nice. So we've got that many. And these are minus one. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Dead. And then it's just a, just an Exarch. Um, Exarch's got one moon left, right? Oh no, go six, six went through. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry, I meant one, two, three, four, five. Spider's dead. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> so that's yeah. done that. <laughs> and then we've got the, the other bolter, the other eight-shot bolter into the, into the Shining Spear. So threes, and then fours. One. one. He's got a three up in one hasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, the heavy stubber. Oh, it's got four shots on it. I know you're stubborn there. Four hits. Two wounds. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then the, the rocket pod. Do three shots. Two. Both hit. One wound. Yeah. No. Flat two damage. Oh, flat two. He's dead. Down to, he's down to one, right? Oh. oh, he took one. He's only got two left. Ah. You killed two spears and then one wound went on him, so he's only got two oh, wounds yeah, left. Oh yeah, killed four and a yes. yeah, yeah. You killed yeah. four and a bit. And a bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's all. That all dies. That all dies. So that's, uh, that's the spear gun guys and oh. the war spider. So everything that was in my backfield is now gone. So basically, what I was trying to do here, like I was saying, is um, whittle Dan's little units down. Yeah. So the idea behind doing that is um, Dan's got engaging all fronts. Uh -huh. 
And uh, I know I'm not going to get very many banners points. Yeah. So I need to drop one of his secondaries down. I know he can do scramble. He scrambled. He scrambled in the midfield. He scrambled in my development zone. Yeah. He's just going to scramble in his own. And he's got a unit of Dark Avengers. Yep. So he's going to he's going to he's going to be able to scramble in his own fairly easily now. And then he gets all of the points of scramblers. Yeah. So I can't stop that. And then priority target. It's it's in his own building. I won't stop that. So the only one I can manipulate, well, not manipulate, manipulate is um, engaging all fronts. Yeah. Because Dan's got to move into, but now because I'm here and in the middle, sort of spread that way, and I've got my two vehicles at the back. If he comes in these three, I will kill what comes in those three. Yes. So I, I think whatever he does for engaging all fronts now, he's going to give me units to kill. Yeah. So that's the idea of it, and I'm trying to kill as many as I can. So I'll kill the single spear. Kill the Wolf Spiders. I'm going to hope to kill these Dire Avengers and that Wraith Lord over there. Yeah. So just so Dan's got a lot less to actually hit me with. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So then I've just got him. And that thing's what, four left? Four wounds, yeah. Four wounds. So, oh, he's so dead. Yeah. Because mm. that's my thing. Because I could put my Typhoons into them. Because they're 72-inch range. Yes. I just yeah. put my 2d6 shots into the Dire Avengers. Yeah. Uh, which could be quite nice. But then that's the thing that's D6 damage as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just put all of the all of the Hurricane Bolters, the Assault Cannon, and the two Storm Strikes there, and I'll put the two D6 Typhoons in there. Yeah, cool. Just in case. Nice, yeah. Uh, okay, so two Storm Strike missiles at that Oh, can you, uh, can, you, can you see them? Oh, no, sorry. Um, you obscuring can't... only works one way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I can't see you. Um, you know... No, I would have to stick the the kind of the front out like that kind of thing, oh. so I could see past the ruins mm -hmm. around the side of the ruins. And then I, I was still nine and twelve from them, so I could still rapid fire there and shoot there. Sure. And, yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool man. So um, we'll do that. And then, oh no, actually no, no no no, no 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 no. I need him dead. I need him. Dead. I'll put everything into him. I'll put everything into him. Okay. Yeah, I, I need him dead. Okay, he's only got four wounds. I, I think, know. I think I you're know. giving this guy a lot of credit. It's because he, he's on the forest. Oh, so I the, see. the two storm strikes both, oh. both hit. Okay. <laughs> and one wound. Uh, so it's minus three, isn't minus it? Storm three, strikes. Yeah. So it's a six up yeah. save. No. So that's three damage. So down to one. And then the typhoon. One hit. Doesn't wound. Right. Okay, and then uh, assault cannon. Five, ten, twelve. Uh, fours. <laughs> oh my minutes. god. <laughs> okay. My vehicles are not on it, are they? Go on, fives. Yeah, yeah. one. Minus one. Oh, he's Hello. okay. He's okay. I know okay, <laughs> Come on, Wraith Lord. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go. Four. Five. Ten. Twelve. Uh, Twelve. Uh, one. Twelve. Go on, lad. Right, you can do it. Yeah, that's about right, actually, that time. Much better. And then sixes. Do him. One. one. It's minus two because of the tactical doctrine. So it'd be minus one then when the hurricane bolts. Oh, hurricane bolts. Yeah. Sorry. That's yeah, fine. It's, it's, it's because the, two, yeah. I was thinking about the bolters on the. On yeah. Oh, no. The hurricane bolters, bolters are AP zero normally, yeah. so tactical minus. So one. That, that's it. That's everything. Wait. See? He's going to move like, loads. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought. I, okay. I thought the assault, well, the assault cannons probably should just wipe him out because they're oh, minus yeah. one. I only got two. You only got two hits. Yeah. Right then, so it's Bjorn. Down to Bjorn. Yeah, because I was gonna put Bjorn into the into dun, dun, the wraith blades, but dun, yeah. dun, dun. Well come on, come on, tree, come on, tree. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. One hit. <gasps> Four plus. He did. No. <laughs> no. If only oh. I'd done eleven wounds in the first. Should I just shot Bjorn first? Yeah, four damage because within twelve years <laughs> he would have just killed him. Let that be a lesson to you. Oh, poor wraith lord. He tried, man. Well he done, tried. Bjorn. Well done, Bjorn. I mean, considering you did 11 damage to him in the first turn, <laughs> double hit, double wound, 11 damage. It was Bjorn. Man, he was just he... going, let's multi that guy. <laughs> and then he's carried on walking along, and now he's seen that he's over, man. <laughs> <laughs> just killed him. He's just like, what? What's that? Is that still moving? <laughs> it's all the storm rave just rain <laughs> hell down on it, and the rave just walking through it, and he just went, nah. <laughs> There's only one of us tough dudes on the board, and it's me. Uh, oh, yeah, I have moved my side wolf there as well, guys. Yes, yeah. Just because uh, just Dan has to shoot something at it. Yeah. You know? It's yeah, something. I can shoot something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dan has to shoot something at like that, and I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. Well, then, I think that's all you're shooting, isn't yeah, it? That's all I'm shooting, so I've just got a few charges to make. So, of course, the Wolf Lord will just go in. Actually, I need to make this one first. It's like a six or something. I don't know what it is. Let's have a look if we make it first. 
A 10 is definitely in. I would say you're within 10, mate, yeah. <laughs> and then the, the Wolf Lord's got like a four or something. Hey. <laughs> I'll, I'll measure that. <laughs> so he does have to go three that way. And then is he within two? No, he's just out of two. So he doesn't make it. He's not doing very well with his charges. He doesn't, he doesn't make it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. It's fine. I'm good with that. He's not doing very well with his charges. I know, man. It's terrible, isn't it? Terrible. So um, then it's just, yeah, it's just these boys. Just going to move them in. Yeah, they've just gone 10. Oh, bloody hell, 10's pretty far. I think I should probably just go half an inch, half an inch, something like that. That's good to me. Just thinking, because if I only think, if I think I can do it with three, then this guy can just go that way, because they're all like a 10. Uh, and then... Stopping me blocking you off. Yeah, because when I pile in then, this guy could pile into there. Yeah. And then that guy could pile in close to that unit. Uh -huh. And then I could spend one CP, consolidate six, and just tag that unit. Mm -hmm. So they can't scramble in your deployment zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody else would have to scramble. And if you don't, and then I've got another turn, turn to kill your infantry, you could lose scramblers is all I'm thinking. Yeah. Because yeah. the only guys that could do it is your Reapers and your Wraith Blades. Yeah. I mean, your Wraith Blades, it doesn't mean Wraith Blades have got nothing better to do, yeah. I suppose. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm just giving your Wraith Blades an easy charge, aren't I? So yeah, no, we'll just send everybody in okay. like that. So we'll like pile in two there, basically. Okay. Because the only other play, yeah, I can only consolidate that way, so it makes no just difference. Just don't forget, because you, you were back here, could the, could, is, is the 10 all the way over oh, there? Oh, this is 14. Sorry. So I've gone 10, and then I've piled in. Oh, four. I see. I'm right. piling in already, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just make sure, yeah, just make sure you're going close to the nearest ones, because they, they would come around here, right? Oh, then... yes, yes, yes. So, like, the front of my squad was like, oh, yeah, needed, like, a six, didn't it? And then they were in line. So, like, the last one was, like, back, would have been, like, back here Yeah, I'm just thinking you can't just keep going around. Oh, yeah, because I know they moved, they moved uh, 15 from here, didn't they? So, they would have been, like, there somewhere and then gone, gone like that. Cool. Like that, something like that. Sounds good. I would say they're definitely dead. Class. Unless the XR can pull oh a blinder. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, God. XR. I've seen this happen before. <laughs> oh, God. Three yeah, when you've been rolling the dice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because I, I, I was playing the Eldar and I held up a whole custode squad, didn't I? Oh bloody hell, okay. Oh, that many, one at a time. All right, come on, Exarch. He's going to fill the first one. Told you. And then they're all dead. Oh. Oh. Who do you think you are? I hate you. Think you roll like me? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that, that's yeah. it. I guess they're just dead, aren't they? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, so they I'll just take, die, and then I'm, I'm just going to sit there, because I can't go... I have to go that way, don't I? Yes, yes. yes. And um, moving six, unfortunately, won't get me like the back of my base behind that wall or anything like that, mm, so yeah. not really any point in that. But I can move four, and I think I probably should move it a little bit, just because... it. Oh. Where's your spears? Oh, they're right against wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The spears, yeah. The spears can go wherever they want. Yeah, yeah so you're into me anyway. Uh -huh. You'll be able to get to me anyway. So I should probably kind of come closer to to that squad of Dire Avengers. Yeah. Just because then it's like one inch longer for them or whatever. And then leave the back one like that. Just within three of my move forward there. Awesome. That's cool. Just so he can't get shot. You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, he could get charged or whatever with shining spears. Shining spears can go for whoever they want, though. So I can't really protect him from shining spears. But I might as well protect him from the reaper because he's he's, he's he came out around the edge because he wanted to charge. Mm -hmm. So he might get shot by reapers. I don't really want. Mm -hmm. Don't really want to let you shoot him for no reason. Yeah, true. It'd true. be silly to let you shoot him for no reason. And that's it. That's my whole turn. Super. So we just killed the dire avengers there, and uh, I've got domination again, uh, and I've got project target again. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I scored my one point for the banner at the start, and that, that's me. I'm not spending any CPs right there. Excellent. Cool. Excellent, right. I like that I haven't spent any CPs that turn. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't was, spend any of mine either. I was expecting to have to re-roll one for their charge. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think they were going to make it first time. <laughs> ten, sometimes you should roll a ten, right? Sometimes. Sometimes he rolls a ten, guys.
Right, guys. So, based on my previous track record, this is probably the worst thing I've ever done. But, <laughs> but, there's the worst thing I've ever done. This is like there's a there's a chance for a really good turn here, and I just need some I just need some slightly over average dice. So, yeah, because I mean, there's a chance I get zero banners for the rest of the game, right? Yes, with yes. Dan's plan here, that I think that's insane. Because so I've only got one point. Yeah, and I, I like I need to get nice. lucky with my shooting <laughs> and my psychic power. Yes, you do. So this yes, is very much balls to the wall here, right? Uh, so, but if you do it, it'd be massive. It'd be a big turn yeah, for you. Yeah. Big so, turn. So, what I've done, I've moved and advanced my spears here. So, they've got battle focus, so they're okay. They're touching the wall, which means I can see through it. So, I can see these wolf guards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Through, the, through so, that gap there. Yeah. So, I can then see them. So, if I can kill them, Manny then only has four models around this objective, and mm -hmm. I have five. Yep. Which means I would control that, which means the banners would leave. So that's, we're one banners down, and then mm -hmm. we kill his infantry so we can't raise any more banners. Yes. yes. Then I've moved these spiders here. They rolled three inches short to actually just get onto the objective. So I've moved them out here, and then I'm going to try and quicken them, and then move them over here yeah. to take the that objective off. Look at that, and man. Then, they flicker jumped out of that ruin in the corner, yeah, right to there, 21. Here, over to here. And now they can go again to come and then all the way I'm going to try and quicken them over here, and then that takes that banner off, and that's no more banners there. If they die, that's no more banners for the rest of the yep. game. Yep, so I've just, look at that, guys. I've only got one point on yeah. banners so far, and it will stay on one for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. I think that's huge for you, Dan. Yes. And that's huge for you. Yes. Um. So then, uh, so that, yeah, that's that. That's that part of the plan. The next part is I've moved the Reapers up here, and they're going to try and take a pop shot. Look at, at that. The... They're going cross board, yeah. guys. Cross board at the Storm take a Raven. Pop shot at the Storm Raven because that is a big threat. So if I can at least damage, I'm not expecting to kill it, but if I can damage it ready for next turn, that's nice. Um, the next thing is I brought the Guardians down here that are going to shoot into them. So, uh, and then that, that, that'll try and thin them out. And then I've auto advanced the Dire Avenger six inches out. And so these guys can't come through here and they can't come around here. The only thing they can do, I'm out of three, so Manny can spend the one CP and heroically intervene six if he wants to. Mm -hmm. But a um, little bit, you know, if you know, if there's many left, the, if say there's only two left, that's not that many attacks. Yep. And um, I've got a full bit of other stuff. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, so that's that. Um, and then yeah, that's it really. So. We, we'll see. <laughs> Let's see what you got, sir. I need to get sir. all my powers off. And Let's see what then. you got, sir. What? You don't think I'm going to pass on my sakes? And I need to do well with my shooting. So, I've got, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread my powers out here. Rather than yep. buffing, like, guide and a doom in a unit, the plan is I'm going to do one unit, guide another unit, use stratagems on another unit to try and give them all something. So, to help it along the way. It's a good idea, I think, yeah. the dice. That's yeah. what we're doing. Okay, then. So, um, I'm going to... Spend a CP yep. to link up a Farseer and a Warlock. Perfect. I am going to link up because this Farseer needs to do really well here. The Doomsayer, yeah. So I'm going to link with him. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I think so. I think so. Right then, okay. So um and uh, so I can't I can't cast the uh, the plus the plus two to cast or anything because I need to do three powers with him. <laughs> so oh uh, yeah, it's it, no, there's no plus two to cast oh. or nothing. It's uh so it's Doom, Smite, then Executioner if you yeah. do enough with Smite. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Right. So, here, here we go. Just fell Doom See, for I'm me. See, I'm smiling now. Just fell Doom for me. I can either be jumping up and down or crying. You can have the rest. <laughs> you can have all the mortal wounds. Just fell Doom for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So, we're going to start with Guide. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Very nice. We're on the track. We're on the track. Then he has to carry on, so then he'll do fortune. Definitely. Ooh. Uh, that doesn't go off. No. So I'll use my fast here roll on that. Yeah. Does go off, because my one scans two. Yep, definitely. <sighs> Who's that on? The Wraith Blades, I'm guessing? Oh, uh, the Wraith Blades, yeah. 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 Make them a bit tougher. Okay, so uh, then we're going to go um, Protect. Oh, no, okay. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we might as well do him. Yeah, yeah you want to protect them because I'm going to charge no, no, them. No. If if these live, I'm charging them next turn. No, no, no. Let's let's let's, oh, do, okay. let's do quicken first. Oh yes, yes, let's just yes, 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 way yes good done. Good. So quicken. So he is uh, plus one to cast because he's linked with the class here. So yes, that goes off. Oh, it's just. Whew. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so so I got lucky to get it off. Now I've got to get lucky with my movement as well. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yes. Why couldn't you just roll that out the right? 25. Woo! Damn. That's how you move, guys. That's, That's those damn. spiders okay, I'll over tell you what, there. I'll, I'll move them in a minute. They're, they're, they're going to go over there and take that banner off. Yes. There. Yes. Okay, right. So we've done we've done guy, we've done fortune, we've done quicken. Okay. Got them all off, man. Got okay. them all off. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go for. We're gonna do the the, the uh, Don't say it. no. We're gonna do protect next. Yeah. Ooh. That's bad. Ooh. I needed that one to go off. Yeah, I can make a mess of those rave blades with just a four pin run. It's fine. It's not them. I'm worried about. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend a CP on that. I've got the CPs. So. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it goes off. I'm gonna put that on the spears. Oh, okay. Because I think you, that cool. you're gonna mainly shoot them next turn. Oh, okay, yeah. And then they've, now they've got a two-up inbound on the XR. Perfect. So. Perfect, perfect, them. perfect. Then, the Farseer here. Now I need these to go, I need to keep my re-roll there, so he needs to keep casting. Need to keep your re-roll there. Oh. Doom is the important one. Doom right? is the important one. Oh. oh, yes, four, five, six, plus one, because he's linked, seven. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 we're scrimping through this. Like, just getting through, through it. Just getting through it. Okay, then we're going to go. That's these boys doomed, isn't them, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to smite them. Uh, that's a 10, naturally, which isn't a big one. Is it? It's 11 and 12, oh, yeah. the big one. No problem. One. Two. Two, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because then I'll spend the CP. Because if I, if I then do two with Executioner. You'll I'll do D3 more. D3. Yeah. So I've still got my re-rolls as well. Yes. So execution. Goes off. Nice. Now one. Now do two. Now one. One, one, one. Yeah. I can't re-roll that, can I? No. Oh, I've already used the CP to re-roll so far. Good. Oh. Good. So he's down to one wound. That sucks. Shut up, Dan. My God, that sucks. Okay. He just got every single power off. Look at him. Yeah. So and look at him, he's still looking. We, so <laughs> we were so close to the perfect run. <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move my spiders and then we'll come back. Yes, perfect. So they move there, guys, and then at the start of the shrimp phase, my banner is gone. Yes. So uh, yeah, so Damn Manny uh, uh, very clever I didn't even think to look it up, but Manny looked up what banners, and you have to control the banner. They control the objective at the start of a phase. Yes, to take, the a, banner, come to take a banner off. Yes. It. So I was thinking now of shooting them off. Controlling it, moving away. Yeah, with fire invade. So basically shooting phase. me, and then in the middle of the shrimp phase, controlling it, and then fire invading away. Mm -hmm. But you have to hold it at the start of any phase. Well, yeah, I can't do that. So, uh, and I, I like that this whole thing is for me to try and take take this whole secondary off, Manny. Yeah. Because I think if I don't get that now, I probably will never take this middle thing off you. Yeah. This middle yeah. objective. So I've got, I'm committed, I'm doing it. Right? Yeah, this so, is the only turn you can take the so banner away. What I'm going to do think. is I'm going to try and shoot them away, and then I'm going to try and charge in and come up, and then. Um, and then I'll, I'll still control that objective at the start of the fight phase. That's the thing, because if if somehow I can keep that one banner there this turn, yeah. then uh, I'll get like five points off exactly. it, because it'll just stay for the whole game, just one, one banner. Again, so. Yeah, it's my only banner. I can't do this again, guys. <laughs> I can't do this again. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. But at least now, because before I couldn't fire and fade my Reapers. Yeah. At least now I can fire and fade the Reapers. Yes. Yes. So, Hide them again. That's that's what that's one good thing, I suppose. Hide them again. All right, then. So let's start shooting. Yep. So we're going to go with these Dire Avengers first. Try and pit this guy off at the end with the one wound. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, four, six, eight, ten. So these wolves are um, Do doomed. They're doomed. So we're hitting you on um, threes because of battle focus. And then we're wounding you on fives. But we want sixes. And then because of Doom, we've got rerolls. Good job. Come on. Guys, so two three ups and, and four. one four up. Okay, so the orange one's a four up. Okay, so two go through. Nice. So he dies. Yep. And his mate's down to three. Down to three. Cool. Okie dokie then. Right. Um, so, uh, yes, these guardians then are going to shoot into them. Oh, yes, guardians into them. Oh, yeah. Because I'm doomed here, this is the perfect target for the Guardians. A perfect target for the Guardians. Okay then, so no re-rolls to hit, unfortunately. But uh, who needs them? Oh, who needs them? what? Who needs them? Look at that. 
Beautiful. Nice hitting. Beautiful, guys. Nice, nice hitting. Beautiful. Now, come on. Nice hitting. All the sixes in the world. No. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh, oh yes. wow. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, okay. They're doing really well. So five sixes and an all wound. With re rolls. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, they're doing well. And another six. So that's half of them. Do you want to take them? I can have my dice yeah, back. Sure. So these are three ups. Fell three. Oh, Ooh. okay, never mind. Yeah, baby. Come yeah. on. Okay, four up in one of balls. Fell four. Oh, okay. Just two wolves dead? That's two wolves dead and one that's down insane. to three. No, 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 no. I failed three and I failed four. Failed three, so he's dead. And they, oh, sorry, they've got four wounds each. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Wow, that's oh, insane. Yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Okay. Oh, if I'd have just, yeah, no. just rolled two on that, they'd be dead now. Yeah. <laughs> if no, two you really, these, you should kill two wolves here with guardians. So you shouldn't kill any more, basically. That's what I'm basing this off. <laughs> if this one guy can survive the other half, I'll be so, so surprised now. So surprised now. Doing well, boys. Doing, doing, well, well. doing well. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. No, don't. Don't. Don't keep it up. Oh, slightly more towards average this time. No, we don't want averages. Fail it, fail we it. We don't want averages. Fail it. Okay, Ooh, he's got a chance. He's got okay. a chance. He's got a chance. Okay, so. Four, three up. We've got three up arm saves. Go on. Fails two. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and uh, four of your vulnerables. <laughs> it's got one moon left. Okay, that's insane, man. That's insane. One round left. That's really good. Really, really good. Wow, it just shows that Doom is so effective. Yeah. On the guard. Doom is so special. effective. Really, guardians. really good. Three. Look at him. He's got a wound. He's defiant. <laughs> He's defiant. Look at them. Look at them, pal. Make him make him regret that. Make him regret that. You can okay. do this, buddy. You can do this. Okay, then. So um we're gonna have the spears yeah. shooting into the wolf guard. This is this is the important one. Yeah. This, this is one, the important two. one. Oh, oh, oh. Three, four, five. Oh, I'm excited for this one because this go. is really important. So these are re-rolling to hit, but not to wound. Yeah, guide. Oh, it's a good job they got guide. Oh. They need to learn how to hit off these guardians. Come on, boy. To be fair, they're shooting through a tiny gap in the wall, so. <laughs> I love that logic. <laughs> and then fours. Fours. Come on, all the fours. Oh, yeah. That's quite good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's about right. That's about right. Pretty decent. A lot of sixes, though. Yeah. So these are so four four ups and then three three ups. Yes. Let's do this. One goes through. One guy and one moon dice. And four ups. All good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, spicy. Oh, no. Okay, then. Okay, then. Okay, then. Two, and then the Exarch. Come on, don't miss. Two and threes. Okay. Oh, That's okay. Good. Yeah, that was good Come for on. you. Don't do it again. Four of the Even with a oh, real. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, the plan's working okay. so far, guys. He's getting lucky this turn. The plan's working so He's far. He's getting lucky this turn. <laughs> okay, okay. The plan's working so far. It is, man. It is. Right. Can you keep the momentum there? Can you keep yeah. the momentum? That's the so, question. So now I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a CP to fire and fade. Uh yes. But also, I'm gonna spend two CPs on the oh, party. Yes. Now it's not a strategy we see used very often, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Um I'm gonna use two CP It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot, isn't it? I mean I should get But it's good. I should get like six hits. That's the problem. Yeah. And then I should get one, 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 one. which I could just use a CP to you to reroll. Oh yeah, and then, and then it's one and cheaper. A CP better off. I suppose that's a good way of looking at it. Spending an extra CP to. Have... Oh no. It's only real yeah, it's just wound. on the chance if you roll more ones to wound, then then you should really. Because no. doing really well here, man. That's doing fine. really well that's here. Fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna leave it. His plans, his plans are working. We're back, we're back. I've got my dice, okay. He's so, not using his so crappy I'm, stratagem. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not using my stratagem. See, the thing is, it could be really good because um, if Doom failed, 
Oh, yes. Um, I made sure these were within six of him as well, the far soon here. Oh, no. Nice. So these would have been rerolling ones to win as well. If Doom. Oh, fails. that's pretty nice. So, right, when you bubble it in. It's it a bubble, not one unit. But because Doom went off, it doesn't seem to be worth it. Either. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so. I didn't on. realize it was a bubble, I thought it was one unit. Yeah, yeah, it's a bubble. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, hitting on threes. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And then wounding on threes again. Not amazing. Hang on. So what's it's minus two, isn't it? Yes, we've got a five up save. So it's got a five up save. Uh, you'd have to re-roll, uh, get a wound, and then I'd have to fail all five for it to die. No, I'm just thinking about bracketing you. Oh, I'm going to act normally next turn, I think. Marines uh, can do like that, right? Something of the machine spirit. Oh, uh, yeah, like, like land that. raiders and storm it's ravens, I believe. Yeah, it's anything with the machine spirit. Um, yeah. Uh, thing, yeah. I think it might have that. Yeah, I'm not has, sure, has, but they, the they used to be machine spirit, didn't they? Yeah, cool. Spirit, okay, yeah. so I think I can act normally with it. Mm, okay. Um, it's not worth my CP then. So carry on. Right. Five up arm saves. Come on, Stormy. Pass three. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Win. <Damn. laughs> didn't even need it. <laughs> right. Uh, takes three. Takes so three. things got 11 moves left. Yeah. I'll use a blue dice because I'm a wolf. Fading back under there. 11 wounds left for him. So. Leave that on there. So, Perfect. So, so, so. so. Uh, yeah, Reapers, fire and fade away, you cowards. Yep. <laughs> run away. <laughs> Bravely run away. Uh, right then, I've got these guys just charging into yeah. them. Yeah. In they that go. Five. Perfect. Okay, um, I've got to balance these, so bear with me. I'll come back. Yeah. This is cowards. Fine from kidding. above, cowards. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. Oh, that watch, definitely watch when the wolves munch them. I mean, watch when I the haven't wolves read Art of War by Sun Tzu, but that is definitely in there. If there's a roof, <laughs> come at them from the roof. <laughs> come at them from the roof. <laughs> right, well, I am going to spend one CP, guys. Yes. I'm going to spend one CP over here because I, I think it's worth it. He might as well do something before he dies because he's mm -hmm. going to die now. So uh, I'll spend my one CP. Boop. And I'll do counter offensive, I believe it's called. Counter charge. Yeah. Counter charge. And then he can um, hurriedly intervene six inches. So I think it's probably best to go here, cool. like that. Nice. Awesome. Nicely done. Yeah, so I didn't think, guys, that um, I was, so I put them three inches away and I was like, well, you can spend one. And I was like, if there's one wolf left, then uh, I'm not that bothered by him because there's no way one wolf will wipe out. By the time he hits and wounds, and I've, I've got a four of him one, so uh, in there on the XR, I was like, there's no way he'll wipe his squad out. And as long as he's tied up in combat, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I did forget that Man Manny just pointed out that he it's now round three. Yeah. Uh, even though it's not his round three, it's my round three, yeah. but it starts from the start. So he's got exploding sixes. Yeah, you always move into Assault attacks. Doctrine as quickly as possible with... All attacks with, now with as well. Yeah. So I, I think now they're dead. That, I think that maybe was a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, so... Um, yeah, so it's just yeah, it's just these spears fighting down into there then. There we go. So, there go. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Can I have faith and disdain this time? I'm going to disdain oh, again. Oh, he's going to disdain them. Disdain again. Disdain got, them again. We've got one to beat. we got one last time. <laughs> Uh, I hope you matter. get like three now, but you get like eight misses. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter about the XR, does it? No, because they, all, they, they all wound me on threes because you're strength six and eight and I'm all toughness five. Everyone's wounding me on okay, threes. Here we go. Oh, all the sixes now. Nah, all the ones all and twos, the sixes. Mate. All the ones and twos. No! <laughs> Just like that, son. Oh, guys. <laughs> Four hits and not a single six. If they kill one now, I'll be upset with that hit roll. Oh, <laughs> shocking. Oh, they can't even wound. Two. Two. Go on, just pass one four of him, vulnerable lads. No! <laughs> I will CP one because that's a whole wolf. Really? That's a whole wolf. That's a whole wolf that stays alive. Yeah. So I'm down to two CPs now, guys. But one wolf is just wounded. Because now I think I can kill your squad. Oh, I thought you'd kill him anyway. Uh, yeah, I remember what happened last time. <laughs> with the unit of three over here. Oh, yeah. That's true. And you're protected as well. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. this uh, this might go wrong just for true, me, to be fair. True. Right then, so I've got a few attacks. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go over here. Why not? Yeah. So uh, ah, the thing is, I did have a plan, and it was to use this last CP here to do plus one to wound on this guy. Because I want to wound you on twos with the wolf. Yeah. But everything else wounds you on twos anyway, so I don't think yeah, I'm going to do it. Well, all right. So I've got my power fist. Go on, miss them all. Miss them all. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Four ones. <laughs> And then I got the wolf on the bottom. 
Oh, not a single six. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What would... <laughs> oh, my God. He's got one wound. Yeah. They're going to kill him? He's uh, doomed? Yeah, yeah. No. Four, four of him, but... Yes! He didn't kill a single time, Avenger. And he's just going to go all the way over here and base you? <laughs> oh, if he punks you now, Annie. If he punks you now. Oh, my God. Right, so, let's see what we can... Can I... You can move down the line and get two in. If I can move down the line and get two in, and I still need to make sure he's blocked. Yeah, so because I think you can go like this to do the half inch thing, yeah. and then you can you can come you, to there, a better view than me. there, and there, yeah. and I can't get past you. Yeah, With the wolf lord, as look, long as he can't the get wall past is there, guys. Okay. So the wolf lord can't just uh, advance past them. Oh no! Uh, how many attacks does a dire avenger have? Oh no! One, I think. They got one. They yeah. should have, and the exile can have two. Right? Yeah, exile can have two. Okay. Oh come on! Don't boys. do it! Come on, boys! <laughs> Oh, this will be the most amazing result. <laughs> oh my god. Two hits. You're on four what? Come on, uh, it's fives. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Come on! Can he roll Come another on. one? <laughs> no. Oh, so He's close. Okay. He's okay. So close. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though, he owes you a morale. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Man, that's a sixty-point model there. That is insane. Oh, that was really unlucky. Yeah, be oh wow! Be afraid of my dire. <laughs> that Avengers. was really, really unlucky. You punk! Oh my god! <laughs> you punk! You should see what's coming for you now. <laughs> you should see the pain I'm gonna rain down on you. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do uh, there is. Oh no! I don't. I don't even need to. Oh, so they're right? getting me my engagement offer. Oh, nice! Yeah, they're getting you. Yeah. They're getting you. Getting you engaged on all fronts. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. Okay, cool. Uh, cool. And then I've got attacks to do over here. Yes. So hopefully the fists here can do a little bit better. I do, can't believe you lost four ones do. to hit. That I know, was man. Mental. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god! Hitting on threes, rerolling ones from beyond, all hit, and because that's a that that would hit because that's a six. So I get oh, an extra yeah, hit sure basically. Yeah. So they all hit, uh, and then two to wound. Okay. Uh, so. These are six ups now. Minus four assault option. Oh no, no, no! And that's the square. Oh, they tried. Look. Oh, the Xox left on a wound, isn't he? Look at that. If it was on a. So what is it? Two damage each. Yeah. yeah. So, so one dies, two dies, three dies, four dies. Yeah, the Xox gonna wound. Xox gonna wound, and I got five little, uh, three little pops. Three little pops. Three little pops. Twos. Only ones. The pops are better because they hit on twos rolling ones and then you get explosions. Yeah. Are these any AP? Minus two. Oh. Yeah, so threes. Nice. That many four ups? Come on, buddy. Just fell one down. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, de He's definitely dead. Bye bye, dude. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, so I mean, it went terribly wrong for us here, but yes. it went terribly right for us over there. Yes. So, um, uh, no, to be honest, it went, it went really went right for that. you with the with taking that. the banners down. You've taken all the banners down. Yes. You, did, you did what you wanted to do, yes. basically. Yes, I did. I think the only thing you the only thing you failed with was this massive yeah, thing. Yeah, I mean, I wanted, I wanted to do some damage to that, and I yeah. wanted my spears to be alive over here. But... Yes, because yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought two of these should live. Yeah. Uh, after your after your psychic failed, I was yeah. like, okay, with the shooting now, I should probably have one and like a half left, yeah. and like two going into there should pretty much kill them. Mm. And then next turn they can go into there with the wolf lord, yeah. And they're like three wolves going into them. I think would kill yeah. the guardian blob. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna I'm at a big disadvantage on this flank now. Definitely. I just have a wolf lord, but. He's no slouch, man. He's a hero. Mm. He's he's gonna oh, go he for is, it. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's gonna go for it alone. It's very true. And he's, this um, thing is about to turn. And rain all hell <laughs> down there. <laughs> oh, well, that's true, actually. Sorry, with my pylons that I was thinking about here. Oh, yes. If he goes three inches straight towards you, I'm oh, yeah. thinking about keeping you as far away from me as possible. Oh, sorry, is this consolidation? It's consolidation, but I know I could, because he died in the morale, right? Yeah. So, so the two guys two... can't move. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, because some would be. Oh, they'd all be close to him, wouldn't they? Yes, sorry, yes, yes. yes. The guy there. Absolutely rubbish. There you go. Um, nice. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah. I said the only, the only thing I would. Um, Putting protect on them was a mistake. If oh yes, on the spears. In, yeah. They're dead. Yeah. So I should have put it on. I them. thought so you were going to put it on the wraith blades because they were the one. They were yeah, the things I mean, going to get if, shot. But what if I move these guys back um, seven inches here? Yeah. Then the exarch has a two up in one against the storm raven. Oh yes. And I don't think much is going to charge them. 
Ah, do you know okay. what I mean? Uh, like, because uh, like he uh, Bjorn could come around if he wanted to, but then he's in range of all the, the farseers and yes. the reapers and everything. So yep. I was thinking, if I put them there, they probably don't die to the shooting then. Okay. And then I've got them in my next turn to do yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of what I was thinking with them. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, one, yeah. so other than that, I got engaged for three. Very one. nice. Uh, no, two. Because I'm not, I'm not in that corner. Oh, anymore. yes, you're not in that corner anymore. Yeah. So, because those warp spiders came over into my, my yes. quarter. And then okay. uh, I got three for priority target. And then I've got ten for my scramblers. Mm, doing well, man. Oh, oh, look at oh, them just counting on. Oh. Oh, okay, he's got the lead for a bit, and we've lost the banners, guys. Yes. We've lost the banners. That's the that's the biggest thing. But I think I could do I could do a fair amount here as well. Yeah, like I can just apply pressure with all the stuff in the middle. You're always going to do really well on the primaries, and there's because you've got the second turn. There's never much I can do about that. So it's about me trying to do as much as I can. Yeah, because everything you've got is down on the board now. Uh, these boys aren't really going to be able to charge anything good, to be honest. Maybe yeah. these Dire Avengers over here to get some movement. Yeah. But that's that's probably all they can do. Yeah. And then the Wolf Lord as well is going into this. I'm going to kill a unit of Dire Avengers here. And the and the Gladiator is going to kill some spiders. Well, so not much in return. So you've got a Storm Raven. <laughs> but the Shining Spears died. So, yeah, yeah. so I'm happy. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's not much in return for losing my, my like 250 point Wolf Squad. Mm -hmm. But... I did also manage to kill 180 point Shining Spear Squad. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, I've got to take that into consideration as being part of my turn. Yes. Because otherwise I would have had to go and kill them. So, you know, a spider unit, an Avenger unit, and a Shining Spear unit in one yeah. battle round. Yeah. That helps me towards the whole, all I'm trying to do is deny you engage now, like you've denied my banners, yeah, yeah, yeah. to try and stop you not get like oh, too high on it. I'm really happy with this, actually, to be honest, because the I think the Gladiator Reaper is going to kill the Wolf Spiders here, guys. Yes, I think so as well. <laughs> then I've got my Wolf Lord, and he's just run around here. Mm -hmm. He's going to charge these boys here, and these guys are going to sure? charge these boys over They're here. They're my as well. best Dire Avengers. I know, man. They've just made oh, a God. they've made a wolf oh, run away. <laughs> yeah, they've made a, wolf run away. <laughs> a giant wolf run away. Yeah. Are you sure they've you want to go near those Dire Avengers? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> But yes, the Wolf Lord's going to go in there, and these boys here are planning on charging in there to get a bit closer. Yeah. Um, I did hold this one and the middle one. So uh, right. I was holding this one and the middle one at the start of my turn, yeah. and my single pop, because Dan's Dire Avengers, yes. because this is an obscuring ruin infinitely yeah. high. So even though they can see through the one there, yeah, I wanted to shoot they my... can't see over this yeah. one. I wanted to shoot my uh, my Dark Reapers through the window at him, look. But the ruin's there. It's the ruin's the there. Yeah, and that one's infinitely tall. So the, the wolf pup was fine. So, so he's just got me 15 primaries. Yes, I can't and, run uh, about him. And he's contributing towards domination now. Yeah. If he if he holds that one, uh, Bjorn has gone... Bjorn went 12, and he's holding this one. And the gladiator, if he can kill the wolf spiders, then he's holding this one. Yeah. <laughs> my Storm Raven turned... And went over here because uh, I was like, if Murderfang was right in here, mm -hmm. if he even if he rolls like a ten inch advance, it's five inches out, three inches that way, and two that way. So he'd be here after rolling a ten, and then next turn he can't move and charge anything really. Mm -hmm. So that's turn three and four. He wouldn't be doing anything. Possibly in five he might get to do something. Yeah. So what I did was I put the Storm Raven over here, but the back of it is touching the ruin, so I'm right up against the ruin. Yeah. And then Murderfang just walked up six inches. So it's touching the back of it, yeah. and he's wholly within three because their base is like two and two ninths or something like that. Nice. And he just jumped in. Yeah. So Murder Fangs, basically what he did is he ran up the ruin, like I <laughs> said, like superheroes, ran up the ruin and then just dived off and sunk his claws in like Wolverine. <laughs> said, yeah, look, at look. look at him just chilling <laughs> out up there, getting a free lift. You watch next turn when he obliterates someone. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be the funniest thing. And guys, I saved my CPs because I didn't have to act on top profile with my summer. Mm, because yeah. I, just, 
Five or six? No, my happy for you. Just roll fives, bro. <laughs> Just roll fives and sixes, bro. <laughs> All the sixes, bro. Yeah, so that's basically untouched. Mm -hmm. And the gladiator isn't taking a single wound, man. Yeah. The gladiator is weak. I love the gladiator. I, I love the gladiator. It's a great tank. Yeah. The, do you know the toughness eight has really sold me? Yeah. I did not realise it was toughness eight. That's amazing. It's a bit pricey, but God, it's got some shots, man. And it's got the repulsor at the grav field. Yeah. And that's amazing. And they've got some good stratagems and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. It's the same stratagem. I didn't realise that. So I could spend one CP in my movement phase to fall back and shoot mm. normally. And I could spend one CP in my opponent's charge phase and minus two of their charge. Wow. Nice. That's really good. It's really good. Really, really good. So uh, we've got that, and that's where I've moved to. These boys here. Now, they came to there to charge into the Guardians. Uh -huh. But the Storm Raven wants to shoot the Guardians. Yeah. The Storm Raven's probably more reliable at killing the Guardians. Yeah. But the Storm Raven as well could just go for these boys here and just do as much damage as possible. Yes. You know. Oh, sorry. One thing to clear up as well, guys. So, sorry, I was, I was talking to Manny as he was moving. Oh, yes, yes. And um, so I put Protect on the Spears last turn because I wanted to, uh, to fire and fade with them after I'd taken his banner off. And then the Exarch would have a two-up save, and I was like, well, pretty much most... It's going to be shooting that's going to take them out, if anything. Um, which obviously isn't true, because these wolves are here. <laughs> but that's why I put Protect on them. So I was like, well, if I'm charging in, they're always going to die. To, I mean, two wolves just probably insta-gibs them. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would have, if I'd have known that, I would have put Protect on these. So we've, we've got Protect on these guys here now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do, I think, here, is I'm going to split shots a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need. We'll put all the strength for like all the bolters and everything into the guardians. guardians. Yeah, and then put everything else into those guys because um, yeah, the storm raven's a bit more reliable at killing them for the wolves. I think. Yeah. So I think I should definitely do that. Definitely yeah. do that. So, um, all I want to see as well is keen senses. Do you want to see if I have to use it at the start of my phase? Uh, no, just have to use it in my shooting phase. That's fine. <coughs> so I'll fire the gladiator first. Absolutely everything into the wolf spiders. Okay, well, well, wait, we'll do our little jiggle. Yeah, we jiggle. Oh, oh, that was so close. We <laughs> nearly took more yeah. ones then. So I got my two Tempest Bolters first. So these... they're eight shots each because I'm in rapid fire. Yeah, everything's hitting on fours now because of my little jiggle. Oh no! Oh no! Hey! Wow, okay. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> come on, your, come your on. Your onslaught Gatling cannons will ruin Two them. words. So these are minus one now because I'm not in any doctrine. Yep. Ah, there you go. Uh, 16, 18. Mm, what was it? Was that the dice I gave you? Nope. 18. 18, 24. And then the big Gatling cannon. Yeah. Oh, uh, wolf spiders. Better, better. Not really. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Average. You did all right. Average. You did all right, yeah. That's cool. You did enough. But it's twos exactly, this time. Exactly, yeah. So that's better. There we are. It's that many. And these are mine. And they're dead. There we go. Oh, I had a little wobble on the Tempest Bolter there and thought, come on, there's Gatling just, Cannon. There's just too many shots in you that thing. You need to get something to, back like, there. You could roll terribly. And My objective. You'd still murder them. Yeah. My objective. I love that tank. I love that tank. It's great, man. I love that tank, yeah. Yeah, you've sold me on it this game. Yeah. It's you've class. sold me on it. It's yeah. class. It's I've not seen them used before, so it's really good. And then the, um, the Storm Raven. So this thing, because I want to gain inches here by charging charging the wolves in there and the and the wolf lord and, uh -huh. and gain inches by getting up the ward. So I want to leave the Dire Avengers alone. Yeah. So I'm going to put two Hurricane Bolters, two Hurricane Bolters into the Guardians. They've got, what, five of arms? Five of arms, yeah. So two, two Hurricane Bolters into them. And then the thing is, the, the guys are infantry, aren't they, the Wraith Blades? Yeah. So touching the ruin, they've got a two-up save. Well, they've got a two-up save, because they've got protector on. Oh, so you've got a one-up save then? Yeah. So even the assault cannon just puts you on two-ups again? Yeah. So I'll put the assault cannon into them as well? Yeah. Assault cannon, two lots of hurricane bolters, and then it's just, do I put the typhoon into them as well in the 2d6 mode? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a good thing possibly. about the typhoon. But uh, no, I'll put them into the big stuff. So typhoons and storm strikes will go into the wraith blades in the hope to kill one or two. Okay. And uh, everything else will go into those... Uh, well, I'll tell you what I will do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be, because I need all the help I can get here. Yep. Next turn, I need, I need to kill a lot next turn. You. So I'm going to spend one CP. Ooh. Boop. Interesting. And I'm going to give my Guardians a four in one. Oh, yes. Because I think yeah, with I you hitting that. them on fours, yeah. because in the forest, and then me having a four in one, yeah. I might just have like half a squad left. Yeah. And then uh, that, that's still 20 shots oh, no, with, yeah, yeah. with Doom and the minus one AP and stuff, but they can still do big. a lot. It could be big. So. It could be big. 
Right then. So I've got um, two storm strike missiles. One hit. And wounds. No. Yep. Okay. He's right. Three and then, one, um, guys. Yep. And then the typhoons. One hit. And wounds. Hey. Oh. No. Would you like to see Peter? Uh, no, it's D6 damage. D6 damage. Yeah, yeah you roll a one or a two. Okay, four plus. Six. Damn it. Six feel no pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I was, as long as I roll like a four plus, it should die even with the field of pain. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's very dead. There you go. Killed a Wraith Blade. Killed a Wraith Blade. Um, just wondering which one here is close. I can't, obviously, I can't take them off the end over here. So, uh, it's just, I'll just leave it here. Okay. All right, game over. So this is into the Guardians now, isn't it? Yeah, it's into the Guardians. Oh, okay. We're continuing with the low rolls here. Four. Oh, yeah. oh I've got two. Never mind. Oh, God. That's oh, average that time. It's all right. Another five, so four and five. Four and five. There you are. So we are on four up in buttons because of the CP. Oh, dear. Seven die? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. And Seven then die. I've got the assault cannon. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'm, I'm helping you out here. I'm making it up for you. Don't worry. Oh no! <laughs> what is that? Two wounds from the soul cannon. <laughs> Another two. <laughs> Oh god, I can't believe that. Oh, so god. nine of them die, so and that die. is all of my shooting. Yes, okay, cool. Shooting. So, uh, oh yeah, go on. Yeah, uh, so I just so, need yeah, to see let, which let, nine you're going to yeah, take let off. Let me take them off, and then we'll, we'll charge. Yeah. Oh, Guardians. Hold on. Hold on, boys. Hold on. They're not afraid. Right, this is it then. Because if I if I make a charge here, I need to I, and get killed the <laughs> Guardians, dead. It'd, be, it'd be massive. Yeah. It'd be absolutely huge, because that's one less squad. that And we've just seen how effective they are with Doom. So that's yeah. one less squad for Dan to yeah. do stuff with. So at the in my in my shooting phase still, after the Storm Raven fires and the Guardians come off, I will use keen senses in my shooting phase. So I can pick a space source infantry, biker, or cavalry unit. So I'll pick that that unit of Thunderbolts there. Yeah. Um, and then until the end of the turn, I ignore any hits, roll, ballistic skill, and weapon skill modifiers. And each time I make a charge roll, I ignore any or all modifiers. So I ignore the forest. So I can just charge straight through the forest in a straight line. Excellent. Because I think I need to get this off here. So. And I reckon I'll be out of nine here. Ooh. What do you think? Is that in or not out? It's in slash out. It only makes a difference if we roll a bang on nine. So let's just roll a ten. I mean, sorry, it only makes a difference if I roll a bang on eight. Because if I roll a nine, I'm in. So okay. Just roll a nine. Just roll a nine. Like that. Doesn't matter, does it? He just doesn't care, guys. <laughs> just does it for bad. So yeah, we'll, we'll just say I was out of nine. That's fine. I've made we, it anyway. Even like, is there any point in even rolling at this point? <laughs> These points are good today. Are we just wasting people's time here? <laughs> Probably. I mean, there you go. Eight. And then the wolf lord doesn't need to, but we'll see how far he goes. <laughs> Ten. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the wolves are in on us, guys. Yeah. They're in on us. The Those wolf pack. Poor, poor little farmers. The wolf pack. They were quite happy mowing the fields, and then they got they got a shuruk and catapult thrown on <laughs> and dropped in front of a bunch of bloody bloodthirsty wolves. <laughs> I mean, they did well to mow a squad down. They were like, oh, this is pretty easy. And they just saw these wolves come, like, darting past, just straight into them. Big charges, guys. That's what it's all about. Just roll sixes, bro. Poor little buggers. Just roll sixes. I mean, I'd like to just say, there was a six in every charge roll. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's all about belief. Just roll sixes, bro. Right, these boys will fight first. That is so I've got a four-inch pilot to there. Mm -hmm. And just like that. What gives yeah, you the four-inch pilot, money? Oh, this is my Swift Hunter's ability. I believe it's called Swift Hunter's. Yeah. Um, and what it does is it lets me advance and charge. Um, and also... Pile in a consolidate an extra inch. I nice. believe it's all one ability. Yeah, cool. Nice. Yeah. So that's really cool. I like the, I like the four inch pile in, and I think the four inch consolidates even bigger because yeah. people prepare for you to get a three inch consolidate. Yeah. And then when you just let them know, you're like, oh mate, I've got a four inch pile in, a four inch consolidate. Then they just, it makes people rethink everything yeah, again. It adds so up. It adds cool. up. It's cool. Right, so they'll go first. Three inch counts. Nine attacks. Can you get your invert in combat? Sorry, what? Could you get your invert in combat? <laughs> I could do, but I'd, 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 I need that CP. Oh, oh, okay. So we're hitting on threes here with the fists. Yep. 
and we're re-rolling all the ones because they're all flawed. So uh, that's a miss, but I've got a six, so explosion. No, that, that, it was just a last-ditch effort to get them out of charge range and see if they'd live. Yeah, so that's eight dead. So there's three left, and then I've got more three walls. Uh, they're, they're dead. Yeah. Because they're minus two, you've got to save against them either as yeah. well. They are very much dead. So they do kill them. Sorry, guys. You did well. And then I just get to consolidate. Oh, yeah. Four inches. Uh, I don't think I really come want to go in. Come into the Wraith Blade. I think I'm all right where I am, to be come honest with you. Come into the Wraith Blade. To be honest with you. Um, to be honest, actually. Do it. I'm just thinking. I could, no, there's no way around it, I don't think. I think okay. maybe like if the wolf went to there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. If this wolf went like four inches to there, mm -hmm. and then my wolf and these four and kill them and went to like there, the wolf lord could just pile in four and consolidate four over here. Mm -hmm. So if you charged, I could armor of rust you, or mm -hmm. you have to charge on this side closer to my dreads and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. So I could do that. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Yep, yep. So I'll just consolidate four inches that way. I mean, he's got an auto charge anyway, so it doesn't really matter whether I go in or not. I was just wondering if I could move like that and stay an inch away, but I think that's definitely more than an inch. You're it? not gonna, you're not gonna go into engagement range of the red place, though. Mm. No. Chicken. <laughs> if call I you, avoid it. Yeah. Call yourself yeah. a wolf. Yeah, mate. Yeah, chicken. We are wolf. You know, wolves are famous. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then uh, over here, I'll fight with these guys next. Come on, Dire Avengers. <laughs> Big scary Dire Avengers. <laughs> it's just that one guy. Guys, I it's if, just that sergeant. If you man. live, I will turn you into Wraith Lords. <laughs> it's just that sergeant, man. Oh, four misses. <laughs> Where's six? Twos. Oh, oh he's no. not passing this oh, time. No. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, don't do it. Gotta find the first one again. Oh, oh. he's on oh, a roll. Yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Go on, lad! Oh. Uh, and only three balls, so four die. Four die. Four die, and then three walls. Yeah, so. they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Just take them off for me. <laughs> oh, that hey, me. man, don't you disrespect Great. them. Great. Great. They're the best Dire Avengers ever. <laughs> <laughs> that brought me great joy in happiness. <laughs> right, so that's that, and then they get to also go four inches. So they'll just not block his path, basically. Yeah. But I don't want to touch the forest, to be honest with you. Um, and then, yeah, then this guy just gets to move eight inches. So he's just moving four that way. And then he's moving four that God, way. Yeah, look how far he's gone. From behind that ruin. <laughs> Without fighting. From behind that ruin, he's gone all that way. That's cool. <laughs> Without fighting. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah. I like that. Ace, that was good. Awesome, yeah. Good I'll, turn, I'll take that. I think that was a really good turn for me. Killing them was the killing them was the biggest killing thing the of spiders, the turn. Yeah. Killing them was the biggest thing of the turn. And making that charge to kill the guardians was huge as well. Yeah. That's I needed that. I needed mm. that charge across the forest. And just to point out there, guys, I needed to roll a nine. Um, and I did roll a bang on nine. Mm. So if I hadn't used keen senses, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. That stratagem is amazing. Amazing, yeah, it's good. It's really, good. really good. And then um, what I do here is I do gain domination again and priority target because my uh, tank's sitting on it, mm -hmm. and that's I can't get any more banners. So, and I've managed to make Dan only get five again. Yes. So I think I, I think I've successfully dropped his primaries by as much as he could drop my banners now. Mm -hmm. But I'm going second, so my final turn, That's it, I yeah. think my, my, my primary... That's why I needed to go second, because my primaries are always going to look like that. Yeah. I, I, I can't go out and hold an objective when you're running around like if that. If the Reapers kill the Storm Raven and I roll a one on Murder Fang, I'll oh. be very upset. Oh, yeah. I'll be very, very oh, upset. Oh, yeah. So we we've still got a, I've still got a three hundred and sixty something point unit here, so I can still do a lot of. Oh range. yeah, what about that three hundred and twenty odd point unit? <laughs> <laughs> we've got some we've got some hard hitting units here still, so uh, we can definitely. Yeah, put things out a lot can of still go horribly here. wrong here, man. Yeah, we can still put out a lot of damage here. So yes. we're into the psyche phase now. Manny has uh, told me 
um, which is a bit ridiculous. So, GW, <laughs> GW, you need to be watching this, right? So, Manny can deny a psychic test within 12. Runic wards. Runic wards. And the one that I really want to get off comes from this guy over here. So, I was like, okay, I'll move him out of 12 all this long. But it's just a Space Wolves unit. So Cyber this wolf. dog, oh yeah, this dog <laughs> is deny. going to deny my warlock casting a power. Yes, it's please about right, mate. That. Please fix that. You got every power off. <laughs> you roll a four with a one in there, and that goes off on an eight. And you're telling GW they need to fix <laughs> no, not, this. Not this dirty one. Yeah. Not this dirty one. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, right, let's do some psychic powers then. Yeah, man. So we're gonna go. Um, Look at him here, guys. He stood on top of that Storm Raven with his arms out. Yeah. Like, come at me, bro. Hit me in the chest. <laughs> so he's going to distract the Reaper so they miss the Storm Raven. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Uh, right, so we're going to go for um, Guide first. Oh, yes. This here. Uh, it goes off. Yep. The ones cast twos. And then uh, he's going to cast Fortune as well. Yeah. Goes off. That makes sense. Then we're going to cast uh, Protect. I'm going to put Protect on them. Definitely. Goes off. Yes. On a, nice. On an eight. That's good that you got those. You that needed those, good. I think. Yeah, I yeah. really needed those. So um, that was that guide on the Reapers and then protect and fortune so on the. Guide on the Reapers, protect and fortune on the Blades. 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 Sorry, yeah, I should explain that. It's, <laughs> it's obvious to me, so I just cast it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I should, yeah. Uh, right then. So this farce is going to go next. The Doom's so, uh, yeah, so he's going to cast um, Doom first. Yeah. Goes off. See, that would have been the one I wanted to deny. <laughs> but a 10? Uh, 10. Nah, no? Good. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to try and cast Executioner. Yep. Uh, oh, so it doesn't go off. That's how I use the, uh, the, the runes, the farce. Runes of the farce. Oh. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> one of the three. Doesn't go off. Oh, no. Oh, I have. Okay. Uh, um... Does he want to smite for a CP? That's a question. Then, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to just kill that one wolf. Yeah, exactly. Goes off on a seven. Uh, would you like to deny? At least you're going to deny with something like no, Bjorn or something. I'm good. Not a stupid dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to rub it in. <laughs> I'm going to let that go so, through. Oh, see, that would have killed him. And then nice. if that was Executioner, that would have yeah, killed him. Yeah, it would have been D3 to the next guy. Oh, oh it would have killed, killed two wolves. wolves. And, and then the smite would have done three. The smite, yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have pretty much totaled us. He would have just wiped that unit out. So he's dead, and the next guy is down to three. That's how cool that farce here can be. Oh, I'll take that. He can put out so yeah, much. Yeah, that farce is amazing. Okay. That farce here is really, really and good. And then uh, I'm going to cast with mean, this warlock yeah. here. I'm going to quicken the, the farce here. No, you're not. <laughs> On a 10. Okay, I'll try to stop it. Four on CP. Because it's huge. <laughs> No. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Well and, done, Pop. You tried. And he's going to go... Oh, oh yes. He can move yeah. 20. 22 this way? Yeah. Oh, no. It's 16, isn't it? You make oh, a move yes, as you move phase. Right. Yes, you can't can. advance they with this anymore, can you? Know, so you can't... Uh, yeah, you can't do it. So he's going to go 16. Behind there. Boop. There he is. Coward. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> you coward. Over there. Right then. Okay. So, um... That's that sort of good psychic phase again. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, very good there. Oh, just one from the executioner. Executioner, let me down again. Stupid power. <laughs> right, this guy here's going to shoot your pup. No, oh, look into the pup. Hitting you on threes. Oh. Got two sixes coming up. Oh, oh. <gasps> he can't die. He no, can't die. Five, five up because it's minus one. One wound left. No. Go, puppy pup. Are you on the objective, Dan? No, no, no. Oh, go puppy pup! Mate, no, no, no. puppy power. No, no, no. Mate, when he charges the warlock and kills it, uh, yeah. that's when I'll really laugh at you. Because I want to see Murderfang oh, die. Oh, no. I want to see Murderfang no, die. No, no, don't kill it. Oh, it's doomed! Oh, you're guided and it's doomed! <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Storm Raven. I still got faith in you. I still got faith in Come you. Come on. Oh, we need to kill this now. It's going to be so funny. <sighs> Oh, just the one miss. I'll take it, I'll take it. And then threes again. Oof. Ooh, good job you got doom, mate. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, even Get with that. doom. They just can't kill this thing. Right, I'm gonna roll the same dice. Maybe they're all better for me. Five, five of armor saves. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh no. no, not a single one. 
So I'm gonna CP that. Oh, fail it, please. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, they've just killed it <laughs> with only four wounds. Damn. Oh my God, I was thinking that was the thing that was gonna keep me alive and murder fag is oh. alive. <laughs> but does it explode? Does it explode? No. no. Oh, okay. So Murder Fang lives. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, I can't believe they just killed it with, yeah, after no. rolling so bad. Yeah, but but you shouldn't roll that bad. Oh yeah, they so, should kill it. But I have used a CP. That. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm happy with it because Murder Fang at least survives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If he died, it would have been really bad. <laughs> Come on then, Wraith Blades, charge me. <laughs> charge me with your minus one damage. <laughs> oh no, Storm Raven goes down. Ah. Right then, bro. Okay. What's next? Is it just the charge now, is it? Just the charge. Just the charge now. So, um, yeah, it's going to be... Who's going into... Who's, who are they going into? So, uh, it's, I mean, it's going to be these, right? But can you heroically intervene me? That is the question. It's only six inches. Because you can only go six, right? So yeah. So if I come like here... Yeah, then, 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 then can, no, right? no, no, no. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we'll charge these guys here. Cool. Five inches. Nice. So we'll go there an inch away from you. Yeah, I don't Just think, to make I, sure I don't think, you can't don't think anyone currently intervene you there, to And be then honest. we're going to pile in after we've uh, after <sighs> done this. That makes sense. That makes sense. So there, I don't think I'm within six of anyone. Just to make sure. Oh, yeah. Murder Fang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he could do it for free. Yeah. El Murder Fang. Definitely out of him. Definitely out of them. Perfect. So, cool. All right, then. Perfect. So we're there. And then, gonna and then everyone's going to be able to fight because now it doesn't matter where you go because yeah. I can't, I can't now do now anything. You can't really intervene yet. That's nice. Oh, this could hurt, man. This could hurt a lot. Oh, I think these these should wipe these. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. I think if they if they don't, the hitting gone the hitting on wrong. fours is the only thing that could go wrong for you. If your fours hit like my tanks have been hitting on fours, yeah, yeah then yeah. you could be in some yeah. trouble. <laughs> if your reapers are anything to go by, you could be in some trouble. Have they got three attacks each? Two attacks. They've got three, right? I believe they've got three each, yes. Because it doubles when you use the Sightra to six, I believe. Yeah, but I think so, nice. yeah. It's just having a... Yeah. Oh, yes, because I think they have two, but then they get plus one for charging, isn't it? Something like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the combat ones. Because the other ones can fall back and shoot, can't they? The, the Wraith Guard. So I know, you've, you know you can do that with Wraith Guard. So these guys have got the, the plus one attack instead of the fall right back then. and okay. shoot. So. Here, Here we go. Oh, that was pretty poor. Is that all the attacks? Yeah. Oh, look at that. The sea of misses on the other side of the oh, thing. Yeah, all the hits went together. Didn't yeah, all the hits went together. I just looked around the other side and I was like, wow. And then freeze. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I've got four of invulnerables. Four of invulnerables. Come on. Come on, lads. Just do it. Nah. No. Four? So yeah, you could fluff this. Could. Uh, so I've got one guy on three. Dead. Oh, and then three. Dead. Yeah, dead. Yeah, nice. Awesome. Cool. Wipe them. That was a good turn, man. Yeah. Oh, that was a good turn. That down in the Storm Raven and a unit of three Thunderwolves is really good. It's really, really good. Just nuke 600 points there. See, that's, that it goes to show, man, when things do go off, because we've got two elite armies, yeah. when something dies, it's a lot of points. Yeah, definitely. A lot of points. Definitely. So, but um... my two dreads might get in now. Yeah. <laughs> Bjorn and Murder Fang, guys. So then, on here, we've got Engage for two, because the Farsi got quickened over there. And then we've got Priority Gosh. Target again. Mm. There we go. Here he goes. Here he goes. See so what we can do back. Right, squad, some points here. I got 15 on primary again, which is really, really big. Oh, yes. Really, really big. My lonely pup, he survived two turns in, now. Way. He survived the Dark Reaper, Dark Reapers by hiding from them, and now he survived the, the Quicken. <laughs> <laughs> the Quicken all, just took all the shots in the face. Like, <laughs> but he's good, and the, the Gladiator can hear him howling over there, so it knows something's wrong. Uh -oh. So he's just moved that way and pointed all of his... <laughs> it just uh -oh. goes... 
like, <laughs> like, let's hide behind the tree. And then as the tree gets shredded. As the cannon just turns that way and all the flashlights come on. <laughs> hide behind the tree and then just a yellow mist's going to appear as he destroys it. That's it. So the gladiator's gone for that. The gladiator is still holding this objective. Yep. My cyber wolf is still holding that objective. Yes. And um, uh, what, a, what else was there to do? There was one other thing. Oh, yes. So cyber wolf's still holding that objective. And then what I've done over here is I've brought my Thunderwolves around here. So if I roll like a an eight inch charge or something, seven inch charge, one can come around this side yeah. and then the other two can go into there. And then from here, if he piles in that way, he's getting closer to the far here. Mm -hmm. So he can kind of go that way and two of them can fight and then one can sit on the objective for me. Yeah. So I can get domination by rolling a big charge there. Yeah. And I've got priority by holding this one. Cool. And I can't do any banners. So I'm going to just do the best I can without, without yes. banners. And then... Bjorn's just moved six inches forwards. Yeah. Murderfang's moved eight. I just found out Murderfang can move eight. So nice. Murderfang's moved eight this way. And the Wolf Lord just went 10, 12 inches that way. Cool. So I'm, I'm circling them with the characters. We're just, just rolling around <laughs> them now. I know they're protected on Fortune, but I think I can still do quite a bit. Yes, I, I think, think I you will. Kill, I think I can still kill a few. Kill okay. A few here. Right then. So a bit of shooting. Bit the shooting. Gladiator's just going to go over there. Gladiator. Yeah. Gladiator. So he's going to shoot the... Annihilating the Warlock. The Icarus Rocket Pod. One shot, just because it's accurate. Hits. Wounds. Four up in, Vern. Nope. And that's two damage. Nice, he's dead. So he's... Oh, he's really good. Oh, good no, he's got right. three on a bike, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got three on a bike. Oh, okay. Stubber. We're going to do it with the stubber. Yeah, go on then. you got to kill him in the most peasant way you can. One hit. Oh. Hey. Peasants didn't work. And then we've got two Tempest Launchers. So they're only four shots each at long range, not eight. And then falls to wound. One wound. <laughs> We're going to pass it just to make you roll them. It's going to have to be the Gatling, isn't it? It's the first half of the Gatling. Fours. And threes. There you go. There's four off the first half. <laughs> if he survives this as well. Come on, mate. Come on, you got this. Oh, no. Oh, he tried. Oh, oh he tried. <laughs> Just about to die. There he goes. <laughs> Join your friends. There we go. So that's that. And then um, Bjorn's going to put his multi melters into the yeah into the wraith blades yeah. and his heavy flamer. Why not? Multi melters. Duck boys. Double hits. Duck. One wound. One wound. Three pin one. Oh. Seven damage. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> Because it's melted. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a warning shot. Oh, just about oh. three. <laughs> wow, he's tried. Right, can we extend someone's charge range here? Yeah, because to get him, I just have to stand there without going any far, so you just take Sorry, him off. Let's take him off. Then. And then he's got his heavy flamer. One shot. Nothing. Uh, and I think Murderfang has a heavy flamer. I'm not sure, but he might do. I'm pretty sure he has like a reserve weapon. It would do one with let, let ignore it. I don't, I don't know if he's actually doing it or not. Okay. So it right. sense. And then uh, the Wolf Lord advanced. So that's really it, isn't it? Yeah. There. Charge so it just charges. See if these guys can roll fairly well. Seven or eight or something. Eleven. Oh, that's what you wanted. I'll take it. So he's Boom. on the objective. Right the way around. And then we can just do that. There we go. Yeah. in there. And then <laughs> eleven. That's amazing. Then Murderfang will go next. Yep. It's a five. Don't know if he's within six. Gotta go around the forest. Yeah, he? yes. So he's, he's gotta go like four that way, like that, and then an inch, which I think doesn't put him. Don't think he's within two there. So I think he might have failed that. Yeah, he's yeah. just out of two. Yeah. So he needs to re-roll that for a six, basically. I need a six. Yeah. So I'll do it. Ten. In he goes. Go murder fang. Rah. And then the wolf lord can't fail, and I'll we'll just put him the smallest distance. Yeah. And then Bjorn. Oh, oh, sorry. That's a two. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> I saw the two and I was like, oh no. Encircle oh, them. God. Look at that. They're just oh. trapped in the middle of the oh, triangle. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't interrupt, mate. So, do it. you want to just start with this uh, yeah. over here? And yeah. just start We're going to make you fight last, though. It's a formality at this point. You can't interrupt. <laughs> but I'm going to make you fight last. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, who's got the most reliable damage? Well, everyone's Nerdifact, three damage. Probably. Everyone's three damage. Bjorn's the only one that can roll higher than three. Go on, you wanted you wanted to fight. So, you wanted to fight with Murderfang. So, come on, let's do it. Murderfang, let's do this. Hitting on twos. Come on, lads. Come on. All the sixes. All hit and an explosion. Yeah. Nice. 
And then he's wounded on twos because he's strength 12. And he's got rerolls because they're claws. Oh, man. There you go. That many three up in vulnerables. Three up in ones. There's the dent. Four One, go through. Two, yeah, three, four. And they're flat three damage. Flat three, okay. So, oh, yeah. first two, one. Four of them. Ooh, Six, only takes two. a wound. Then so, he dies. One death. And then you just got two more. Oh, same again. Very nice. Oh, and then ah, yeah. so, so two dead. Two dead. I'll take that. It's pretty good Next. through a three of him, but yeah. I'm going to pay. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're super tough, so to just run in and start killing multiples of them. Yes, and then the Wolf Lord and Bjorn. Got them here. I like that everything's in this book that you want to use for Space Wolves. Oh, I think yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah. So Bjorn's got five attacks, six yeah. on the charge. And he's also hitting on twos. Oh, double miss, but then he's got a six, so that one hits, nice. basically. And then Bjorn is also strength. Oh, he's only plus four. Oh, but he's seven naturally. So plus five, he is still 12. Wounding on twos. Rerolling, because it's still a claw. Five wounds, five more invulnerables. Oh, no. Three. Oh, it's another three. And he has no. D6 damage. He's done so well this yeah. game. Six. Oh, God. Oh, my oh, God. That's three. Yeah. One dead. Second one. Three. Oh, that's another one. Third one. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god! <laughs> oh, Just about, he yeah. Tried, he tried. Well, he's killed three. He's More killed than three. Wow. So two die and three dice. There's two left. Two left. And then the wolf lord. Wolf lord has a few more attacks, I think. Actually, no, I don't. Actually, I don't think so. Wolf lords don't have enough because I don't take the right warlord traits for that. I take the survivable ones. Yeah. So he's got four attacks and one for charging, which is fine. So he's also hitting on twos because he's minus one plus one with armor. Mm -hmm. One fail. No explosions. And then he's wounded on threes because it's a banana. Okay. Oh, damn. Two of the rules. Hey! They don't care about him. So five of them die, basically. Five There's two left. Five of them die, yeah. Uh, so it depends okay. which I'll two. Them, I'll, take, yeah. I'll take them off in a minute. And then the farce here? Oh, yes. And then into the farce here. So I've just got the two fists. Uh, One miss, but an explosion. Yep. Still here. Two's to wound. All of them. Oh, there we go. Car parts here. Duck and dive and dodge and dive. Nope. Oh. Yeah, two go through. So that's that four damage. Do you, do you need? Do you need two? That's only four damage. It's only four damage. He's got six, and then you've got the you got all oh, the wolves so left. The wolves, yeah. what, what strength are the wolves? Strength five. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, but if they're winning on fours, you could fluff that. I might be wrong. Twos and an explosion. <laughs> Threes. Four. Oh, he could survive this, man. Four, four ups. Oh, oh, no. oh yeah, he can. Well, he survived it. Go Farsi. Well done, Farsi. And then we'll just base him, basically. What a hero. <laughs> kill him. Well, the Farsi gets to hit back. I know that much. He's got two yep. attacks. Double hits. Two hits. <laughs> two wounds. Two up saves. They're all uh. right. And then, uh, and then yeah, you've got well, you've got two wraith blades to attack with anyway, haven't you? Two wraith blades. Is it yeah. only two each because you haven't charged, or is it when you get charged as well? You get yeah. Let's have a look at them because they might yeah. get the extra attack if they get charged yeah, okay. as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's not really much point attacking the dreadnoughts because they're minus one damage, aren't they? Yeah. So we're just going to attack you. Your wolf, wolf lord. Lords. Might as well. So I do only get the the two attacks each because it's only when I charge I get the bonuses. Uh, four hits though. Three hits because they're minus one, aren't they? With oh, of course. They are so much better, but they don't look half as cool as the guys with swords. Yeah. And then uh, threes. Oh, just the one. One wound. Uh, and then I've got a four up in vulnerable still. No, it goes through. Yeah. That's D3 damage. D3. Two. Two. So I think he's got five left. I guess cool. seven. So he's he's pretty damn good. Wicked. Okay, then. That was so, really good, Matt. So basically what happened here was uh, Murderfan killed two and Dan took two other ones off so he couldn't consolidate anywhere. Yeah. Then Bjorn killed three, so he took those three. And Bjorn consolidated three inches but has stayed an inch away from the guy so he's not in combat with anyone. Yeah. And the Wolf Lord was tagged anyway so yeah. he can't go anywhere. Yeah, and these two are base so I can't go anywhere. So uh, they're leadership nine. So they lost five, so I'm leadership four. Oh, oh nice. We're all right. We're all right. Nice. I can't believe this bloody, this bloody fast here, dude. Look at him. Surviving. <laughs> oh, God. Cool. What's All he right. like? So, I do get um, my points. So, I do still get priority target because my gladiator's out of the back. And I do still get domination because I... Fo I... <sighs> I forgot his... Uh, no, not forgot. I, I foregoed... Is that the word? Mm. I foregoed his attacks 
to get some points. Yes, yes. You would have made the difference, buddy. <laughs> you could have killed that fast here in the building. <laughs> nice. Yep. So that's me? Yep. Okay, so just to get, try and get as many points as I possibly can here, what yeah. is going to happen is these Wraith Blades have fallen back and I'm going to spend two CPs so they can fall back, shoot and charge. That's even awesome. though they've got no guns. And then I've fallen back with the Farseer uh, through here and over there here. He is. So then if these guys can make their eight inch charge over there, then, uh, and they survive yeah. the wolves, then, um, you then get I get engaged in all fronts. <laughs> Yeah, these guys got to run in there and survive the wolves. He fell back like a complete wuss. Uh, and then, look, the Reapers. Yep. How cowardly can you be? <laughs> yeah, they've got to up to the top floor. Because these guys can't come up a level. And then uh, they can't be within five inches of me if I'm all over there either. So I can, I, can I can do it if he's on the first floor. I can go underneath him and I'm within engagement range. But if he goes to the top floor, I actually can't get him. No, nope. can't, can't get him. Get him. Back off. Back off. Right, okay then. So let's do some powers. Uh, the spirit seer down here. Oh, yes. Who's uh, stayed, bravely stayed down here <laughs> to, to stay on the objective. Oh, no. There's the far seer and the reapers oh, yeah, were running upstairs. Oh, yeah, somebody needs to hold an objective. Yeah, the far seer and the reapers <laughs> run upstairs. The far seer went, no, no, you stay here, mate. You stay here. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the far seer is just like, priority target. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so yeah, they're gonna cast protect on them. Cool. Mm, no. There was no off. point of him being on that bomb floor. No. Well, no, the he's, poor he's getting the objective. Oh yes, he's getting, the... <laughs> he's getting the objective, but they're not protected anymore, so they've only got four up in front. Oh, when Bjork, when Murderfang runs around the wall, <laughs> that 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 spirit is gonna be like, oh uh, my god. Because he's, he's up here, Murderfang's gonna come round, and he's gonna his claws gonna go through the ceiling, <laughs> and pull him back down. Oh. Uh, uh, right then, so then we're gonna the far sea is gonna cast guide on them. Yep. Oh, good enough. Wow. Any perils? He takes two mortal wounds and he passes both their field of pains on him, so that's fine. Very nice. And then he's going to put um, fortune on those guys over there. Thanks, Marvin. Yeah, good enough. So they they make, them, if they make their charge, they're getting butchered. They didn't get protect, but at least they've got fortune. Yeah, getting butchered. So, uh, then, yeah, the Reapers here, uh, they are just going to shoot the Wolf Lord. So, yeah, go for it. Take it. Two. Oh, don't worry, he will, he, he will take it. He will take five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot his uh, his feel no pains against the the wraith blades. Doesn't pass any. He's got a six up feel no pain. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, right then. So uh, we are hitting you. Oh no, I've got guide, so I don't need to roll the exact separately. Oh yes. Threes. Come on, mate. Survive this. Survive this. Uh, when did you on threes? Oop. Oh, it's not uh -oh. good rolling like this now. <laughs> You've done so well, Wolf Lord. So well. Come on. This is your last hurdle. Take him down. So he's got a two up save and a storm shield. So he's got a, a one up save. Mm -hmm. So these are still three ups. One, two, oh, three, no. four. That's 12 damage. Oh, no. Even if I CP one, <laughs> then I've got to pass nine. <laughs> I've got nine to take. I mean, I shouldn't do that, should I? No. He's definitely dead. Yeah. Feel the pains. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Well done, guys. Well done. No, Wolf Lord! Harry! Okay. Harry, you did so well, Harry! <laughs> he's done well, man. And then um, it's just the Wraith Blades here charging. Oh, yeah, charging, charging into there. The no rerolls at all. It's a flat eight inch charge. Go on. I've not seen Manny roll Believe. less than an eight. Believe. For, like three weeks. Believe in it, Dan. Yeah! Yeah, boy! That's how you do it. Okay, so we are going to come right on the edge of um, this guy over Down here. There, yeah. Like so. Okay. That makes sense to me. Go within half an inch to fight you. Nice. Oh no, I haven't even got to go within half an inch to fight you, have I? Got to go within an inch, haven't I? 
If both can get within an inch, then yes. So there you go. Oh, both of both within an inch. Just push them in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There you go. I want you to fight back with as little as possible. Makes sense. Because you got to keep coherency with that guy over there, aren't you? So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we get three attacks each now. Getting on fours. Oh, Oop. that was a miss over there. Oh, and then uh, four hits. Winding you on threes. Uh, just a two. Cool, and I got four up in vulnerables. One goes through. One damage. Cool. Got three left. Uh -oh. Right. Come on, guys. Come on, you just got three left. So, um, he will move four inches. Dan, if you could grab this for me. Oh, yes. And I will uh, just have a quick look. So, if he moves four directly that way. Like at that. Mm -hmm. Then his buddy back there can move four as well. Yeah. So, this guy can move four to just go to there with you. And then the guy in there can come four inches out here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops. Oh, no need to start knocking him over. Like over here. Yep. But no, he can't be within half an inch and half an inch there. Okay. So he's, he can go in, but he has to just be within two inches of him. That guy can't fight. Okay. I was just thinking if I could stretch. <laughs> uh, but no. So what I am going to do, though, because it's pretty hard for me to wound you, but if I do kill you, it makes a big difference. So I am going to use, uh, I might, it might only be if I charge, Savage Strikes. Yeah, it's only if I charge. Never mind. Because I can do plus one to wound, but it's only if I charge Oh, here. nice. Okay. And that would have been nice. That okay. Been nice. So we've got two power fists. Yep. Hitting on threes. Uh, two misses, but one explosion. Yep. And then wounding you on threes. There you are. It's four saves, man. Just a fair a couple more of them. Yeah. But it's fine, because we can just pass all the fours. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, one goes through. Yeah, nice. So that's two feel no pains on it. Two feel no pains. Nope, okay. Down to one wound. Down to one wound. And then the two wolves. All hit and two sixes. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. And these are fives. Hold on. Four? It's possible. It's possible. Four up in buns. It's still possible. Oh, no. oh my god. No. Who the hell are the Philippines? No. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> so he dies and his mate is left on two wounds. Yeah. Oh my god. The puppies tried, man. The puppies tried. <laughs> Okay. okay, and so with that, and then we will, uh, of course, consolidate. That gets around. me uh, priority target again because of the brave, brave spirits here. Yes. And two on engage on all fronts. Very nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, and I'm going to kill these dog reapers. That's it. Watch. He thinks he's safe. <laughs> he thinks he's safe. So uh, I've already put the five points on there for the primary yeah. because uh, my little cyber wolf over there, my little cyber pup, he's not moving. <laughs> so he's going to get my last he's five points. He's got you so many points. <laughs> Just by sitting there. And uh, I think the only other points I can get is by getting domination. Mm -hmm. So the pup's there. The gladiator's staying on this objective and the farce is not on it, so yeah. it's mine. And then over there, if Murder Fan makes his charge into the Spirit Seer, then I'll take that one. Yeah. And I'll be on three for domination. Do it. And that's all I can do, and that's my priority target. Come on then. So that's it. Murder these Reapers. Well, I can murder some stuff. So, first of all, um, he's going to fire. The gladiator. The gladiator. And he's touched the walls, so he can just see through this ruin if it's got windows, which it has. So he's going to fire the anti-tank missile, the Icarus missile. Mm -hmm. And the Iron Hell Heavy Stubber. And and one of the Tempest Bolters at him. Because he's got a wound left, so I've got to kill him. So uh, the, well, yeah, that's more than enough what you already put in. Why don't you want to put it all into the Reapers, man? Well, because I could put the Gladiator thingy that way. The, the Reaper thing. And one of the Tempest Bolters. Because okay. the Tempest Bolters are only four shots at long range. Not eight. Okay. So, yeah. So I'm going to try and kill him. So the, the Icarus thing. Two shots. Two hits. One wound. Past he's it. still going, he's still <laughs> going. The Iron Hail. It's with two. And I will CP one of those. Wounds with one. Don't know why you bothered. No. Just pass it. Okay, and then, uh, <laughs> and then the Tempest Bolter is eight shots on him, because yep. he's in half range. Go on, pass here. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, take two. Oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> All the fours. <laughs> That's why I bothered. That's why I bothered. <laughs> and then we've got a Tempest Bolter at the Reapers. I'll see him and live to tell the tale. Oh, he can hit them from across <laughs> the board. 
Two wounds. Just minus one, so they're back to three ups, aren't they? Because they're under ruins still. There you go. All good. Two. And then um, 24 shots. Oh, yeah, we're up to a winner here. We got 100% saves for a phase. Oh, my God. We're going to money our way out of this. Uh, so you're fours, aren't you? Yep. Because even though it's going nowhere near the forest, it's, it's still all over that it. forest, it still suffers from it. Twos, though. Strength six. There you go. And these are minus one as well, so threes. Threes, because I've got two, so being on a ruin. Three failed. Three failed. So we'll kill the Exarch and one guy. Cool, Exarch and a guy. And then just Bjorn. Boop. Boop. Yeah. So, uh, Flamer. Is it in range? Five shots. Uh, three inches of floor, right? Yeah. And I'm within eight. Oh, eight inches. Range. Oh, it's 12. Oh, God, it's 12. Yeah, Never yeah, mind. Yeah. So five shots. Nice. Not a single wound. <laughs> okay. It's off the wall. Damn it. And the multi melter. So he's, co he's concentrating everything into that. Twos. Yeah. <laughs> One dead. No. Minus four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, because I'm on a roll with saves. Yeah, whatever. Damn it. Damn it. Take six wounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's he's cool. an ex Dark Reaper. We killed, we killed the Reapers, we killed a few Reapers, I killed three Reapers, I'm happy okay. with that. Go on then, uh, um, murder then these the guys. Charge. Murder Fang making his charge into that guy. Eight, yeah, he's just got to get underneath him, he just goes, Weep. there we go. Every charge. And he just hits him. Um, that's all I can do really, yep. I think he's not going to get go in. Go for it, Murder Fang. So, Murder Fang, he goes, eight, go on lad. Three misses. <laughs> and then twos. Pulling him through the, the floor. Ones. All of them. <laughs> Come on. Come on for the moral Die, victory. Punk. Oh, oh. oh, I've got no CPs. Yes, flat three. Push uh, up Hang on. A spirit seer. Hasn't the spirit seer oh, got a spirit form? Seer? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think so. I think they have four. I think they have four. Yes, spirit Damn you, seer. Damn spirit seer. Damn oh, you. Oh, yeah. Well, I will take you back then. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe he's failed that. Yeah, I mean... Go on. Nah. Uh, no chance. It's murder uh, fan, mate. It's murder You fan. get off. That's my objective. No domination for <laughs> you. Whatever. Whatever. Moral oh, victory. That was, that was really good Moral there. victory right there. If that turn had come like one turn earlier, we could pass yeah, over those no, saves. Right. It would have been amazing for you. So yeah, all I get is priority target. That's it. Oh, do you want to kill the, kill the Wraith Blade? Oh, yes. Yes. Just, just as kill the final the kill of the blade. game. Go on, lads. Now it's only two attacks each. Come on, lads. Oh, one miss, but two explosions. See, now we can hit it off. I don't know if you get plus one. Do you get plus one to hit when you haven't charged? Oh, no, probably not. Mm. Probably Just not. Two of them. Oh. Yeah, one goes through. It's flat two. And you got fortune. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. He's dead now. Yeah! And then we got the hounds. Oh, come on. Really the, rub it in. You know, this is the thing. Because, like, the the fists, they get three attacks each on the charge. And after mm. that, they get two each. Yeah. The hounds just always make an extra three. Always. Always? Always just make an additional three nice. attacks. Really, really good. So they're hitting on threes now. Yeah. But that one hits. Yeah, explosive sixes. All the time? All the time. Oh, yes. Oh, two wounds. Two wounds. That's easy. We from, can do right, it. From what we've already passed. They can that's do it. Easy. Four of Oh! <laughs> he's the one again! Oh, he's the one oh, again! Oh, 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 he's gonna have you! He's gonna have you! Yeah, wound. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I love it. I love that I've That's got that amazing. much left. <laughs> <Everything, laughs> Why I couldn't do that bounced. a turn earlier. Everything just oh, bounced. That was ace. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. But, I'm, uh, I'm so happy with the performance of the Gladiator. Yeah, that's a wicked uh, intro to the channel. Man, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm so happy with the performance of the Gladiator. And Bjorn monster. has just been incredible. Yeah, absolutely He monster. just walked around the board slowly. He killed a Wraith Lord basically on his own. Mm. Um, he killed... He killed that one guy from that squad the turn before. Then he fired a warning shot and killed another one. Yeah, and yeah. then he charged and then killed three. He killed five Wraith Blades. Yeah. He killed over half the squad of Wraith Blades and the Wraith Lord on his own. Yeah, he's wicked. What a hero. So uh, there, 
You didn't get anything else, did you? No, it was just prior to target, and that's all. Yeah, it was, it was just domination. And I couldn't right? get domination. So there you go, guys. Seventy-three fifty-seven. Nice man. It was a good game, then. Eh? Yeah, it was, it was a good game. It, well played. Well played. It was all off the primaries because I've yeah. got forty-five. Yeah. Right. So I've got um, an extra twenty-five primaries than you. If your primaries were equal to mine, you win. Yeah. If your primaries were less than mine, you yeah. still win. Yeah. So it's just me being able to deny you getting more than five. I knew. I knew. I, ha I had to kill. I had to kill enough early on to stop you just storming the board and yeah. scoring 15 constantly yeah. and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't yeah, do it I think uh, Raise the Banners was a really bad call for me. Mm. Raise the Banners was a terrible call for me. Especially because I, I did want to do things later on in the game with the Wolf Guard. It was just early on I thought if I could plant a banner, plant a banner, I'll have two and they'll stay the whole game. Yeah. So I was thinking I'd get like nine points for banners which yeah. is what my hope was and that would have been really, really good. Mm. But actually, actually, I think there were some better ones. I like grind them down. I basically yeah. killed more every turn of the game. Yeah, oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. I, I thought grind them down was a good one for you. I'm I surprised you didn't that. take it. Okay, cool. Well, guys, at the end of the game, let's go to the end of game roundup. Yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> for the wolf king, baby. He hates. Oh, he hates space horse. He I, hates I space horse. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> No, that was that was a really cool game though. Yeah, yeah really cool. It game. was it was ace. I was really impressed with the Eldar. Uh, they they played the mission really well. I mean, you look at the the, the scores of the secondaries. Oh yeah. Man. And I only um, yeah, I think I only didn't score like five points. It was five points. You outscored me on secondaries. Maximum secondaries. Outscored so, me on secondaries. Yeah, it, that, that list plays the secondaries really well. And um, I think it was just uh, going second would have really helped me. Oh yes, um, but also as well, like your army is so tough and so aggressive um, that and it's really killy whenever it gets there. So it's, it was never going to let me sit on. The, and also as well, because you won that roll off and you moved the objectives back, I oh, was yes. never going to get to those objectives and live till the next turn. Yeah, live till the next um, turn. So, so the was, final turn, you needed to jump onto them right yeah, at the very end, and yeah. that would have helped a lot. Yeah, it would have got me an extra ten points, which would have got me thirty points. So if I if I like max out my secondaries. And then get thirty points on the primary. You pretty much most of the time you're winning games there. Yeah, yeah, you um, are. And it was, I think it was just, it was just happened to be that matchup with them going first, um, which is a bit of a shame. The uh, look, try the new units that I tried out. The uh, the rain oh, guard yes, yeah. bomb, I thought was all right. It's yeah. it's okay. I think it needs a bit more support. Yes, and I think it you'll find it'll be better support. against other things. Mm. Because I am an all-combat army at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, you know, I added a few additions as well that could do some shooting. Mm. But the core I kept as the the combat units I really, really like. Yeah. And those kind of things hit very, very hard in yes. combat. Especially because everything I hit into them was three damage or more. Mm, yeah. Everything I hit them was three it's damage true. or more. I have to admit, they're tough. it's tougher than I thought it was. Oh, yes. It really impressed me with how tough that bomb is. And the Eldar really needs something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. To have a I unit like that in an Eldar army, when everything else around it's going around and being really fast and playing the mission and being really cool, to have that army that can push up the middle if it needs to and survive against most armies, I think is great. Um, I definitely think there's play in it. I really yeah, want to play with the list and see what I can get in there. The Wraith Lord I really liked. Um, it didn't do amazing that game, unfortunately. No, not that game, no. Uh, but I can see how he could be very useful. I actually, contrary to what I said before, I think you should take them on that. I oh, think okay. three of them would oh, would uh, okay. would, it, it would really make points. people think. And it's the, because points. of how cheap they are. Yeah, I think three of them would really make people think. If you push three of them down the flank of a, oh, of yeah, a battle, down the flank, and people oh, just go like, oh god, what like what am I supposed to come in? Because yeah, okay. Most people could maybe send something over there to go and try and kill one, try and kill one, and yeah. then two of them hit you back in the face. I think, That's the I thing. Think three of them That's would be the good. thing. Toughness eight, ten wounds yeah. when there's three of them running down the flank as well with six bright lance shots. Mm -hmm. That will hurt stuff. Yeah. That yeah. will really, really hurt stuff. And like we say, it's only four hundred points. Yeah. Um, I've got to admit though, I like I liked your whole army. Except I'm a big fan of the Wave Serpent. I like the Wave Serpent yes. over the Wraith Lord. Yes. So that would be my pick. Well, you should say that. So you do what really didn't impress me. Was the was the uh, reapers? Oh, I just think reapers. they keep going, they keep creeping up and creeping up in points, and they're good. Mm. But they need so much now. You like, you've got to do something. You've got to guide them to try and get them to yeah. do anything. Yeah, that is true. It just seems that way now, and I'm just. War walkers seem like they could be a better. Yeah, war walkers like more spears, wave serpents, man. 
Yeah, wave serpents. Take two wave serpents and go and play the mission even better. Yeah. Yeah. You know that is true. Rely, actually, yeah, you know, rely on the the serpent, or maybe you know, maybe, uh, take two, take two more, take two more wraith lords. I think they'd have killed just as much. That's the you could probably take two more wraith lords, and then you could fiddle the points around with one of your dire Avenger units and have two guardian bolts. Yeah, that'd be a so double that, guardian bolts. I think there's a lot of potential in the, that base there, guys. So let me know what you think. There's well, some cool um, things you could come, yeah, you could add to that then, yeah, I think. Yeah, I really like that. I like I'd, I'd, I'd play that Wraith Guard bomb a bit differently now that I know what it does. So I definitely want to get it back on the battle of the And you need to do this Triple Wraith Lord. And yeah. I'm just excited yeah, now for this yeah, Triple Wraith Lord. Yeah. I think that oh. could be cool. I just thought about it as well, and I was like, all those Bright Lances going down the flanks, yep. and then Toughness 8 monsters running up there. Like you say, someone might be able to try and come in and kill one, and then get hit by the other two. Yep. It's not an ideal situation for people playing against that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Me, I was really impressed with the way that the, the Gladiator did. Mm -hmm. I was so happy. It, it picked off so much. It's, it's Toughness takes. 8. It sat on my priority objective all game. Mm -hmm. Nothing could shift it. It killed two units of Wolf Spiders, killed a Shining Spear unit, killed a Warlock Skyrunner. Mm -hmm. It pretty much doubled its points yeah and that's hard for a 240 point unit yeah to do. yeah <laughs> when money said it was 240 points i was like oh, okay that's quite expensive then i realized how shooty it was and yeah. i was like oh, okay that's about right and then i realized it was tough to say and i was like man that thing is a bargain yeah it's a, it's really good for its points i would and really recommend it when you think that if a killer unit's like seven away from it or dro deep, drops in from deep try trying to charge it and do a nine inch charge and you go oh one cp i can make that an 11 yeah. One is two. Uh, one CP, if you get into me, I'll just fall back and shoot normally. Fall back and shoot. Yeah. It's really good. For 240 points, it's really versatile with what it can do. Mm -hmm. And I think it adds a lot to a Space Wolf army. Yeah. So I think that did absolutely incredibly. The Storm Raven, man, it took some heat off the rest of my army. Two turns, Dark Reapers were shooting at that and not shooting at my wolves, which I was really, really happy with. It picked up Murderfang and transported him. It basically wiped out the Guardian bomb. Um, killed a few things here and there. I, I think it, it was really good you to have in there. That strategy of the, the, the machine spirit one, to act on top profile, is is wicked. Yep. Uh, it definitely just keeps it going with all the guns and stuff on it. And also as well, I don't, I don't know. Is the stratagem still in there to make it auto explode? I don't think so. Ah, okay. Maybe that's what they replaced it with. That would be amazing. Well, that would be cool. Yeah. Like if it's got like one wound left or something, just, just put it in the, middle of, just like in the middle of an army. <laughs> that would be that would be really cool to see if it's got that. But... Um, no, no yeah. I, I think that wolf list is much better now that you've got some shooting in it. I wasn't a big fan of it at all when it was just all combat because you could just move block it if you wanted to. Just yeah. throw things in front of it and just speed bump your way through to just pipping the game over them. But now they've, they've got loads of threats and uh, Murderfang is amazing. Murderfang did so, so well. I've got um, to admit what I would probably do. Output. Oh yeah, Murderfang's damage output. Oh my god. Flat three damage, man. Yeah. With full reroll. That many attacks. Strength flat three. twelve and rerolls to wound is a bit yeah. much. He's super killy. He's really, really good. I love it. I absolutely love him. Strength twelve, minus four from turn three onwards, exploding sixes to hit, flat three damage, hitting on twos. Move he moves eight as well for a dreadnought. Mm. It's so good. Moves eight, rerolls his charges. <laughs> yeah. For 150, and he's a character. Yeah, yeah. For 150 points, he's an absolute bargain. Yeah, he just. So, he, I couldn't go anywhere near the middle of the field with Bjorn and him there. It didn't matter what I sent there; it would die. Yeah. Like my wraith guards couldn't even go into the middle because it would just die. Like with how tough they are, I could send them in against a couple of wolf units. Yeah, yeah. And then hold their own. But as soon as Bjorn and Murderfang touch them. They, what, yeah. they did? Oh, they did. They killed over half the squad. They killed, they killed half the squad. Uh, yeah, oh, half the squad uh, and, he, and he killed two of them. Oh, no. Yeah, they kill seven. Yeah, they kill seven. The yeah, two of them kill seven. Two. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 ace. They're really really, good. and that was through a three of infant and fortune. Yeah, they killed seven in one turn. That's so 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 good, man. So so good. And then uh, so those were my three additions. And I've got to admit though, the storm raven was nice to have. Uh -huh. The gladiator was amazing. Yeah. The gladiator was amazing. Um, but the storm raven, it was good to have. But I've got to admit, I missed the re rolls on it quite a lot. Yeah. I would prefer that to be core units that could give me some shooting. Like uh, maybe I'll try adding a few aggressors to the army and a few plasma inceptors. That's like cool. together, yeah. like a unit of four aggressors and a unit of four inceptors would be really nice what to aggressors add. Aggressors and inceptors four. Yeah, yeah. And inceptors are fast, so I wouldn't have to swap anything to put them in mm. because I could just um, only have two units of the North Cavalry, like merge them into two squads of five. Instead of four, three, three, mm. have two units of five and put the inceptors in there. Um, keep the cyborgs because I absolutely love them. And then the aggressors is the only thing because it's an elite. I could split into two 
and make Bjorn ahead of a vanguard as well. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of play there. Are the, you... the Wolf Guard call? Yeah. And the Thunderwolf Cavalry call? Yeah, Thunderwolf Cavalry call, Wolf Guard call. What is it called? The Cyber Puffs. Apart from vehicles <laughs> in this bloody Space Marine book, what is it called? I know. What? Yeah. It's it's pretty bonkers, man. That's crazy. It's pretty bonkers. Because the Wolf Guard, like if I was to swap the Storm Raven out for like four Plasma Inceptors, four Aggressors, yeah. all of those would be cool. Plasma Inceptors, Aggressors, the three units of the Wolf Cavalry, the two units of Wolf Guard, all of that is cool. Right. So all of it is um, all of it's rerolling once to hit, and then all of it is offset. I agree, that's better. It's really good. That's really, really good. That's better. I should try it out. We've got some aggressors on David's painting table for the Space Wolves, yeah. so I'm really excited to put that Come bucket on, on a shot, Tim. Come on, David, get it done. Because they've got power fists as well. Yeah. With a plus one to hit. Yeah. So they're like the perfect yeah. unit for Space Wolves to shoot to and combat and everything. Honestly, yeah, you can give giving them the rerolls. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So be really, really good. I uh, hope you really, really enjoyed the game, guys. Mm -hmm. And like I say, if you've watched to the very end and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell in the corner so you know every time we release these videos. And if you want more content like this, head over to glasshammergaming.co.uk and join the elite. Otherwise, we'll see you later, guys. Bye -bye.